The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And finally, we have back for the first time all year. Thank you. The original cast of the Laughing on the Sidelines. Oh, you're talking about Jeremy. (laughs) No, I'm talking about all three of us, dickweed. Uh, But yes, we have the original crew first. We have the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. I also weighed 180 in high school, if you want to announce that, too. He weighed 180 back in high school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we got him back. And then, also, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. I can't wait for you to announce him at the game. Can anyone? I'm and and I'm, I'm, I'm serious here. Can anyone... Fucking explain to me what the hell it is I'm doing here. <laughs> That's what I want to know. I have a bone to pick with you. Which of the two words did you not understand, Scotty? I or quit? <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. I, I, well, if you, uh, you know. I don't work here anymore. <laughs> God damn. Well, you can go and be in the closet with Our, all the kids after the show. No thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. At I least no, I get to leave this time. That's true. I have That's no true. idea why you're here, to be completely honest. No. I, I would have bailed and like you... My, you'd still see smoke from my tires from the four <laughs> months ago that I left. I, I got a heart out at seven, guys. Got to go. Yeah. <laughs> what time we record? Seven? Sorry. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have committed to this. Uh, but I'll yes. be shaving my balls. I'm not going to be here. Right. But the original crew, <laughs> the original crew is back in action for the first time all year. Uh, it's kind of cool to be able to do this every once in a while. Uh, I know we got baseball season coming up, and so that means Derek's gonna be missing a lot of time. Yeah, <laughs> fuck you, <laughs> dude. It's great. It's like nothing else. Missing time here. <laughs> you don't. It's hardly missing it. And tell I tell me more. <laughs> oh God, the things you could not say on here. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just sit at home quietly. Yeah. Oh, keep going. Nobody fucking with me. <laughs> Just not having to answer stupid questions or look at that fucking beard. <laughs> oh, man. You, you get hard when you think about it, don't you? Yeah. My beard. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. No. Fine. No, in fact, that actually, I don't didn't actually get a vasectomy. You, that made me impotent. It, I am sterile now, thanks yeah. to your fucking beard. <laughs> You're welcome. Happy to help in any way I can. I'm always rubbing my balls on it. <laughs> I just disconnected some shit, I guess. I don't know. They don't call it the cum catcher for nothing. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> uh, but anyways, it does well, look like a catcher's mitt. <laughs> yeah. 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 A little bit. Uh, but welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time that you've been listening to one of these episodes, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports <laughs> and inappropriate jokes as well that uh, are pretty much targeted towards me and not sports, and that's fine. I'm okay with it. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend shitloads of people, so if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. Who, buddy? We got a fun. Hey, I'm offended. Thing. Are you? Yeah. Can I go? Too fucking bad. Nope. You're sitting right God there. God damn it. So I yes, I am, and I'd like to not be. I actually used epoxy on your seat, so you're going nowhere. Yeah, but you forgot to mix it. Oh, yeah. You got it at Harbor Freight. <laughs> he just, he just <laughs> gave me, you know, gooey butt. Is all you did. You need a jizzle. Oh, did, <laughs> did you get a bucket with that at Harbor Freight? <laughs> <laughs> or did you use a coupon? I think I used a coupon. They wouldn't let me have a bucket. Uh, but anyways, we've got a great episode. We've got opening day stuff that happens we've got uh, other sports news we've got overrated underrated what would you do questions and preguntas and as always a great draft and a shitty situation to end up on and uh but we've got the week week recap where we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week 
So we're going to kick this bad bitch off with Derek. What did you do, dude? Uh, not a lot. Really? No. Um, Shocking. Wednesday, I went out. I was going to go home, and then my wife didn't have the best day, and so we decided. She that, chose not to. So I chose not to. <laughs> she wanted to go out and have some drinks, so we did, and I was eating uh, eating dinner uh, about 9 o'clock, because that's what you do when you drink too much, mm-hmm. and I get a, an alert on my phone. Apparently, a lot of people have been getting these random texts that just say, hey, so I'm like, well, let's fucking roll with it. <laughs> so I responded. Uh, we had a nice little conversation. Mm-hmm. It says, hi there. Uh, it's from a 267 area code. Uh, 267, I Googled. That was Pennsylvania. Nice. So it said, hi there. I said, what's up? They said, how are you doing? I said, living it up. You? I'm doing all right. And the weather is good in New York City today. I said, good to hear. Same here in PA. Took my nephew to the circus today. He goes, that's great. I bet you two had so much fun at the circus. We are close by, though. I said, we watched an entire clown disappear. (laughs) Shit was crazy. So clowns come out and start messing around with the elephant, right? Then this elephant sits down, and, like, the lead clown disappears. Like, he sat straight down on the clown. We thought he was dead. My nephew's crying his eyes out, right? The elephant stands up. No Mr. Jingles. Okay, he's straight gone. Then all of a sudden, you see his arm pop out of the elephant's backside like we're watching Ace Ventura 2 all over again, (laughs) only with an elephant instead of a rhino. Next thing you know, this clown slithers out of the back of this elephant's vagina like a newborn calf. Makeup, (laughs) still on. (laughs) I don't know if this was a magic trick or a lucky accident. Anyways, so you ready for baseball season or what? (laughs) So some time goes by. No response. <laughs> so I thought, well, he's in New York. I said, Yankees win it at all. And then nothing. So I said, if you're a Mets fan, this conversation ends now. There's 100% physical evidence that Pete Alonzo is on horse tranquilizers. He has a veterinarian, but no pets. What the hell else could that be about? Good point. And right? yeah. horse tranquilizer would not be performance enhanced. No, no. <laughs> if anything, that's, uh, that's keeping him down. Yeah. That's, that's correct. So then the guy says, I can imagine how the circus was wonderful. You are good at expressing. <laughs> No, I ain't a baseball fan. I said, circus was fucking tits. <laughs> he, he says, you don't need to worry about it. I just watch soccer occasionally. Hey, watch your language. I said, they say soccer was invented by Jesus in order to keep people from having orgasms. You ever try to orgasm while even thinking about soccer? It's impossible. That's why I don't have kids. Well, that and the whole parade incident. That, that is a partial myth, by the way. Jesus did invent soccer, but not for that reason. Fair enough. <laughs> He goes, uh, sorry, I'm not the one you were looking for. I just want to make friend with a man with dignity and grace. <laughs> like, you texted me. Yeah, no right? shit. So you weren't I... looking for anybody. <laughs> right. So and by the way, is there a more prestigious position in all of show business than lead clown? No. <laughs> no, that's the top one. That's man. headliner, if yeah, you ask me. Absolutely. So then I, I responded, and he never responded after this. Uh, so he says, I just want to make a fr- make friend with a man with dignity and grace. And I said, dignity and grace are what I named my testicles. Now give me seven Hail Marys and a Jenna Jameson. So, nice. That, nice. That, was, that was the end of said conversation. Huh. So <laughs> Derek was so proud of that shit. He ends up texting me like screenshots of this just randomly. And I'm like, this is fucking great. It was fun. It was fun. It looked fun. And then Sunday. Well, this guy didn't care for the word tits. So, you know, he doesn't listen to this show. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Or who he's talking to, because I got a pair of them. No kidding. Right. Uh, oh, number. And then Sunday, yesterday, I uh, I went down and watched uh, the old Kansas City Royals play. Nice. Yes. Yeah. How'd they do? Uh, huh. they, they scored their first runs of the season. Yeah, they hey, did. good In job. In game three. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they did not win. Mm. Um, there is, uh, as a fat man, I was pretty excited. There is a new uh, concession stand down there, Grinders. Ooh. Which is like a famous like sandwich shop or something in Kansas oh, City. Oh shit! I did not think that's what it was. I thought no, it was, I well, they make your sandwich and rub their crotch on you. <laughs> I told my buddy if he didn't know what was on the menu, just to download their app, <laughs> and he wasn't falling for that twice. No, uh, no, no. So, uh, and then it was kind of funny because we're standing in line and there's a police officer. And he's got, like, you know, where it says, like, police across his vest. Uh-huh. And then he's got, like, you know how, like, some of them will have, like, their name, their badge, their last name, like, either on a badge or stitched onto uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. 
So it had the word police, and then right up above it, his last name, which did not work well with it. White police. <laughs> oh, yes. I now, was like, wow. Does that mean that the police are white or that they only police white people? Only police I, white people. Yeah, I think it's just basically he writes a lot of warnings. <laughs> That's what he does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Fix-it tickets and yeah. stuff. Starts with a verbal, but if you really piss him off, sure. he'll get a written. <laughs> So uh, that was entertaining. And then uh, it, it's kind of funny because uh, none of us are like the, the smallest people. You know what I mean? And yeah. the four of us, it's me, uh, my best friend, Brian, and then both of our wives are sitting in the sitting all in a row. And uh, Brian's wife goes to get uh, like, like a, a hot dog and some pretzel bites. And so she sits down and she's sandwiched between me and Brian. And so her arms are just like T-Rexed. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I... I'm going to move back here because <laughs> the seat, the row behind us had like the four seats open behind us. So like, I'm going to move back here. So we let her out. She goes back there. So, uh, he moves back there after like a couple of innings. And then all of a sudden, uh, these people show up in the bottom of the fifth. Like you do. And they're like, uh, this is us, I believe. And so they're like, Oh, sorry. So they all move back down into our row and, I'm like, who the fuck shows up in the bottom of the fifth of a ball game? A, B, they have a toddler, mm-hmm. and they will not leave that toddler the fuck alone. <laughs> like usually, the toddler is the one that won't right? shut the fuck up. It's the parents. <laughs> oh. the, the toddler went and quit kicking my fucking chair. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like they sit down in the bottom of the fifth, right out of the gate. Do you want a hamburger? Do you want a hot dog? Do you want to watch the baseball game? Do you want a toy? Do you want to sit on Aunt Kitty's lap? Do you want do you want do you want an ice cream? Do you want a cotton candy? Do you want to do you want to watch the ball? Look at the ball. The ball's going fast. Look at the ball. Ooh, did you see him hit it? Do you want to do you want to sit on Aunt Kitty's lap? Do you want a hot dog? Do you want to, I'm like, do you want to shut the fuck up and watch the game? <laughs> I want to sit here and read my paper. Jesus Christ. I could just see Derek's face getting red and fucking steam just going oh, out his goddamn I, ears. I looked at my I, I can wife. almost guarantee you what that is. Those were people who were up in the upper deck. And, and saw empty <laughs> seats because they made too big of a production. Oh, this is us. Yeah, we're supposed to be here. Uh-huh. Yeah. So they get there in the bottom of the fifth, leave top of the eighth. Oh, what the I fuck? Was, I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Well, they were down seven to three. They're like, well, we're out of here. So no, I think it was like four to three at the time or something like that. Huh. Jesus. Yeah, because the eighth, I think, is when. Or no, it might have been seven to three at that point. But anyway. Uh, yeah, that was some of the most annoying people I've ever sat by in my life. I looked at my wife. I was like, there's no fucking way yeah. I was going to make the rest of that game. I was going to lose my shit at some fucking point. That's more annoying than the drunk chick. That drunk chick story at, at Kaufman. The drunk Wait. chick at Bush was the worst. Oh, that was at Bush. I'm that sorry. That was the worst. The one that screamed yeah. in my fucking ears. No, I was talking about the one That's... that got so drunk that passed out in like the fourth inning. Oh, no. That chick wasn't annoying. <laughs> that was hilarious. Because <laughs> she just goes... Her friends were going to get drinks. This is funny, too, actually, about the game. Uh, her friends were going to get drinks, and she just goes, Vodka lemonade! Right? And then so I was with my buddy Brian at that game, and Brian's like, oh, she's not going to make it to the third inning. And then we turn around in the second inning, and she's just got her hand on a rail, and she's out. So we're taking photos like you do. And, and her, sure. her friends are just sitting there like, I, I don't know. So then we're at the game yesterday. And they got the vendors running up and down, you know, selling shit. And here comes one vendor, Vodka Lemonade. (laughs) And he's got a neon green T-shirt that says Vodka Lemonade. And Brian's like, I need that fucking shirt. And the guy was made for her. The guy goes, if you can fit in it, you can have it. (laughs) Brian's Oddly enough, instinctively, she still responded when the wave came around. (laughs) Yeah, just... (laughs) <laughs> the whole time she she would bitch that she hates doing it <laughs> she would still do it I've mainly it was just her hailing for another drink mm-hmm. <laughs> that's great so you had a good time yeah we had a great time that's awesome good for you so that was that was my week all right until I think of something later and I'll be like oh yeah we did this too oh that's that's yeah. okay that happened and we're uh, we're prepared for that uh, my week started off with uh, with our Twitter account. We are now, uh, um, what do you call it, blue check. We, we're verified. You paid like $200 for that thing. No, I didn't. 
Um, but anyways, you can now follow us on Twitter. I think eventually we're going to move that direction a lot harder. We are now, I, I am actually putting the drafts on there now as well. That blue so. check is basically like getting the, the title of lead clown. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. You got to go through an actual process of making sure you're an actual person. So yeah, that's yeah, called yeah, clown know. college. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. yeah and, and you know what, Derek? We passed, believe it or not. Uh, so that's that. Uh, that's at LOT Sidelines uh, on Twitter. So we're there. Uh, I ended up playing golf again. I'm, I'm getting even more into golf. I got my St. Louis Cardinals golf bag club covers. That's towel. the wrong sport, dickhead. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I don't care. He also got bindings for his golf shoes. Yeah, they it, are. They if bind you're right such it. a fucking fan of the Cardinals, why are you golfing? Why aren't you watching the Cardinals? <laughs> I, I actually am. I'm golfing while watching the Cardinals. Well, that's that's fucking stupid. That's going to distract your game. <laughs> Maybe. I might. Straps his snowboard on, goes down mm-hmm. the hills. Yeah. But over the weekend, we ended up golfing on a Saturday. And on Saturday, Jesus fucking Christ, at 8 o'clock in the morning, it was colder than shit. It was 37 degrees with the wind blowing. And I found out something about myself that I'm not proud of, but it is an actual fact. I'm a golf course snob. I'm a golf course snob. I only like playing on courses that are well-kept. And we played on a golf course uh, close to the Wichita area. That was not the best. I yeah, you're tell. a real shithead. I love playing on shitty courses. <laughs> I love it when there's just crabgrass everywhere it's that's it ankle high. Love it. It's, that doesn't make you a snob. That makes you a golfer. I know. But I like when the holes uh, are hand dug. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like that one in Greensburg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big hole. Uh huh. Um, no, I, I, I only three putt there. <laughs> I, I just remember whenever I was a kid, it didn't really matter who I played. But now it's like I don't want to pay fifty dollars to play on this shit. This is this is bad. There was a couple holes that were nice, but it was uh, not that uh, not that great. I can uh, tell you're a snob. I know. I can tell because you're drinking non-alcoholic craft beer. I am. That, is, that makes you the ultimate snob. Yeah. No. I just I'm trying to you know not drink alcohol for quite a while. So uh, try water. I, That's I a do. Good Dude, one. it's it's really <laughs> really uh, hydrating. Yeah, I know. There, I get away from that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. There's that penny that you got. There you go, Jeremy. Yeah. No, I gave that to him. Oh, yeah, you gave, did. Yeah, okay, I didn't yeah. even say it. I brought that back. Remember how that's the worst oh, fucking yeah. gift ever? Yeah, yeah I got yeah. that for Scotty. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. I, didn't, I never even know that. I don't watch the show. Yeah. I wouldn't either. <laughs> I don't. Uh, but last but not least, I got to hang out uh, with with my best friend. Uh, he did like a Sunday fun day thing where we went over and watched uh, the women's basketball champion, national championship, which was a fucking joke. It was fantastic. Uh, what part of fun day shitty. does he not get? I, I know. Well, his wife wanted to watch it, and everybody was kind of into it, and it's the only basketball that was on, and so that's what we watched. That one uh, but, bitch got – I loved it. But, yeah, I I, I, did, I hated it. I, th- I thought, I just why am I wasting time watching this stupid shit? So, anyway. That guy just went in the dugout, and they put a fucking crown with horns on him in a goddamn, like uh, – what is that? A Hail throne Satan. cape or something? Yeah, some Hail shit. Satan. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was pretty much all I did. I did have a really good time, uh, but nothing too, you know, really all that entertaining. So that's that was my week. Uh, Jeremy, it's been a while. How uh, how have you been, bud? Fine. Fine? I've been yeah. doing great I'm until sure. today. I know. I don't know if something happened. Mm-hmm. It just ruined my whole fucking life. Uh, it, you'll see that. Fuck in my account. whole fucking life, guys. Uh huh. Um. Today is April 3rd. Yes, it is. Yesterday was April 2nd. <clears throat> right. Before that, first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then 31st. Mm-hmm. 30th. I'm just going to run them all down. Until <laughs> <laughs> we hit about an hour and a half, and then uh, keep laughing, assholes. Yeah, uh, I like it. No, uh, yesterday, the 2nd, I want everybody to make a note of that day. It was a monumental day. Uh, Christmas is finally down. <laughs> nice. The last of the shit went up in the garage. You got three months, dog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. That's yeah. incredible. It, it is. I think it's it's not that she couldn't do it faster. I think it's just such a daunting task, and she works so hard putting it up that she it, it's, like, sad to take it down. <laughs> so she wants to get all the use out of it that she can, and, and I don't think it's at all fun to put it up. No. I wouldn't know. I don't help That's at all. That's the worst part. Is it like when someone gets their house ripped to shit by a tornado, like you work so hard for everything and yeah. now it's all gone? I <laughs> wish it was that fun. I do. <laughs> At least people feel sorry for you. 
Yeah. Now people are like, yeah, you guys can afford all these fucking Christmas trees, you rich pricks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's where all of our savings went to. We're not rich. But uh, so anyways, that's uh, that's what Christmas spirit. Is, here, man. No, <laughs> one of us is <laughs> <laughs> one of us is. And it's it's not the uh, person born in this country. <laughs> it was in the, uh, the one born in the Buddhist country um, <laughs> where they don't recognize Christ. <laughs> <sighs> so. Um, yeah, and I, I forgot where I was going with that. Uh, this morning, I uh, I tuned into one of my favorite podcasts, the Never Not Funny Jimmy Pardo podcast, and was surprised to see the guest today was our good buddy Matt Donaher. Nice, really nice. So I text him and let him know he did a good job, and we've had a conversation all day. In fact, I need to text him back. So uh, you guys carry on without <laughs> me, and I'll just be texting Donaher. But no, uh, Donaher had this running gig or gag throughout the whole fucking thing where he was, had to pretend to be mad. And if you know him, he is the sweetest man in the entire world. <laughs> so to hear him fake anger is weird. <laughs> it's just fuck. He does it fairly well because he's got this real high-pitched voice that he can like go into this just angry tirade. <laughs> but it's weird. <laughs> it's fucking weird. So shout out to Donna Her. Also, thank you to everybody who uh, has been supporting our buddy Matt Magnuson. Yeah. We know a lot of mats. Yo, yoga mat. Yeah, yoga mat. Yeah. And him and his fucking ridiculous <laughs> goal. I, I did a DDP yoga class with him last Monday, a live one, like in person. Can and, you lick your back yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. <laughs> nice. and, I, and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It's a little salty. I don't wash back there as well as I should. Because <laughs> it's on my back. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, you're gonna, you're not gonna believe this. He's getting a little run down. What? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, after four marathons in four weeks, he's starting to to feel a little. Even though you know the one that he had just run was an ultra marathon, so it was. Uh, you drink a bunch of Michelob Ultra at every that, stop. That's absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. it was, uh, what is it? It was a fifty k. Oh which, my god! That's a lot of Michelob Ultra. Yeah. What, oh. what would that be? That's thirty. Okay, so thirty-two miles. I was gonna say five. Five k is three point <clears throat> whatever. 30, Thirty-one miles. So it's a yeah. little more than a marathon. Jesus, and Christ. he's got like seven more to go. Ugh. So yeah, that uh, no, I, actually he's got six more <laughs> to go. He just ran one for cancer, Scotty. Oh, that's to cure a, cancer. That's a good. Cause. Once he finishes this, he's it's. We're not gonna have any more cancer. That right. I assume. I hope, not. I hope not. That's the only reason to do this. Right. Uh huh. But no, uh, thank you to everybody who's been supporting him. Uh, he needs to win that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it, it actually is pretty cool. I, 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 there is an actual specific cancer. I think it's leukemia. That is the leukemia one. and lymphoma. Le that's yeah. right. Yeah. Which the very first stand-up gig that I ever did was a fundraiser for leukemia and lymphoma. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. So good for you guys. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Have I watched anything on TV? Yes, I did. Yeah. I just asked and answered my own question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the the night agent yes, on Netflix. You, okay, I've watched. What do you think? Liked it. Yeah, liked good. it very good. Woo! Oh, sorry. Very plot <laughs> twisty and yeah, it was a somewhat original idea, which is hard to come by these days. It really was. Yeah, I, I just liked it. I thought the two the two people that they they casted for those two characters, the two main characters, I thought they did an excellent job. She is. Like, the more you stare at her, the prettier she gets, A hundred percent, yeah. Like, she looks plain Jane on the surface, and then you look at her closer, and she's <laughs> fucking hot. She is, yeah. Um, I think she's attractive, too. However, that, the Asian woman that they cast in that horrible actor, <laughs> she is not even off. A, not even a Christmas fan. No, oh, no. 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 That would actually make, her, make me like her less. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see. That's it. Yeah, that's that's, it. that's pretty much it. No, uh, uh, no poops. No recent poops at the. At the no, work? no incidents from the the fecal unit. We fecal almost crimes unit. We uh, almost texted you last last week. What, we, did you find one in here? No, that we was had, me. We had a situation of what we would do if you found a random poop at like a like an aisle at Walmart or something like that, and we thought we should give you a call, but we didn't. We we needed your expertise in that particular situation. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm glad you didn't because <laughs> I was I was busy not doing this. 
<laughs> Fair enough. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you didn't call me. Well, there Betting you go. Betting just for future reference, I would uh, get out of that aisle. That's what I would do. <laughs> not tell anybody about I it. I wouldn't buy anything from that aisle. <laughs> okay. Maybe not from that store. <laughs> okay. I did uh, text you a couple weeks ago that I ran into your buddy with uh, Bobcat underwear. Oh, yeah. Derek got to <laughs> oh, meet yeah. a legend. Yeah. A, a legend. Yeah, I got to meet that. He asked me, he didn't say, did I know Jeremy Joseph? He asked me if I knew you by your government name, uh-huh, you know, uh-huh. Shamalama Ding Dong. <laughs> sure. And uh, I said, yeah, I know Shamalama Ding Dong. And uh-huh. he's like, yeah, man, I, there's this time with Bobcat. I was like, I know this fucking story. <laughs> I 100% he, know. He no. led off with that? Yeah, we were talking <laughs> yeah. about it. Oh, okay. And now here's the deal. I didn't <clears throat> expect, when you're telling this story, I'm like, this dipshit's like, he's just talking about leopard underwear or something. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He, he, he tanned a bobcat. Yeah, <laughs> he skinned the goddamn bobcat and wrapped it around his uh-huh. fucking, and wore it like underwear. Mm-hmm. Like, I was like, this makes no sense. Like, I'm, that's totally not, yeah. when I saw the photo, I was like, oh, fuck. No, he, <laughs> that is a pelt. <laughs> yeah, and, and the, <laughs> the fact that he had photos on his phone of the incident, of, of the day that it happened, so you uh-huh. got to see exactly how he was dressed. Yes. Um, but yeah, it was he. He killed a bobcat, skinned it, tanned the hide, and made a pair of underwear out of it. Because I guess what else are you going to do with a skinned bobcat? <laughs> well, quick recap of actually what happened through that story, just real quick one. Uh, I, did, I know it, but just he, in case, he came up to visit me and some friends of ours uh, at at college during the big Oktoberfest celebrations, and he. He's calmed down quite a bit. (laughs) Dude used to be an absolute nut job. And somehow, well, he brought this pair of underwear with him. Uh, He had that on. He had taken off all his clothes other than his regular underwear. He wore this over his other underwear, and then he had his cowboy boots on. He uh, Somehow we had come across a weird Afro wig. (laughs) <laughs> the night before and so he had that on and then my buddy whose house we were staying at uh had stolen his high school football helmet so he was wearing that <laughs> and we went to go on a beer run on like saturday morning <laughs> and he's already drunk <laughs> and we're going down the street with all of the fraternity houses on it and he wants to get people are out on their yard like fucking drinking and shit and he wants to get people riled up so he's like, let me out, let me out. And so he goes and jumps on the hood of this piece of shit Cavalier. <laughs> and he's just like, as we're driving by people slowly, he's like firing people. Like, Come on, yeah, let's get fucking drunk. And everybody is loving the shit out of this because he's dressed like a goddamn lunatic <laughs> and acting like one too. And then a cop on a bicycle <laughs> sees us. And so Jay puts his boots over the license plate. And starts yelling, go, go, go. <laughs> and he does. He fucking floors it. And so, you know, we're gunning it 35 miles an hour as fast <laughs> as this Cavalier will go. And we get to a point where we can't go anymore and we can't turn. And this cop is riding so fucking hard that I there's, there's conflicting information now. I thought he ran the bike into the back of the car. <laughs> Jay says that he just stopped so hard that he fell over. (laughs) Either way, he wound up on the ground. (laughs) And he tells my buddy to get off of the the hood or off the trunk and makes him get back in the car. Now, keep in mind, he's 17 at this point. He's still in high school. Great. And the only thing he's thinking is, my parents have to make a five-hour round trip up here (laughs) to come bail me out. I'm done. I'm fucking done. And and this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> and he just was writing what we thought was going to be a ticket. And other cops showed up. And they make Jay get out of the car to show off. They make him put on the full get up again because he had taken the helmet and the wig <laughs> off at this point. They make him put it all back on and show him what he was wearing. And they said, okay, this is a warning for unlawful riding. <laughs> Just promise me you won't do this again, and you can go. And he had written in the memo, Tarzan on trunk. (laughs) And so, so, yeah, uh, that happened. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, that is the white police. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Uh Uh-huh. All right. And Derek got to meet that guy. Yeah, that was fucking fantastic. 20... 
eight years later, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Send me that picture. He said that, Whew. I don't know if it was that same day or what, but he said you guys got pretty hammered. And the next day you were supposed to go into like the army or something. And you weighed in a half pound over. Uh, there were a few different reasons why I didn't get to go into the army. And it wasn't that day. Okay. I think he's conflating things. Gotcha. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I was, I was a pound years. overweight, which wasn't a big deal, but also I had a bad hip and a, they said a bad heartbeat, which was no doctors ever heard before or since. Okay. Mm. So, so yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. They were like, you just need to wash your hands better when you poop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> right. They <laughs> stuck a speculum up my pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, we got a lot of sports and, and other fun stuff to get to, but before we do that, we we'll give a shout out to our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. That uh, lawnmower 4.0 with a zero degree turning radius right there, Jeremy Joseph. It does have a zero. <laughs> you can turn that fucker on a dime. <laughs> you sure can. And uh, just in case you want to, you know, mow the yard at night, it's got that adjustable LED light. And I'm by lawn, I mean your balls, asshole, and dick. Uh, that's what it is for. Not taint. Not taint. You leave that. That's uh, that's like a soul patch for your asshole. <laughs> sure <laughs> it is. That is a bright light on that thing, too. It we, is. It we might. actually keep ours, in case of emergencies, we keep it right next to our uh, weather radio. Right. <laughs> yeah. the power goes out. You, uh, I, yeah, I keep my taint hair long and like a like an Egyptian pharaoh beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's got that piece of jewelry at uh-huh. the end. Nice. Mm-hmm. Good for you. That's awesome. But you can I like only... to grow mine out so it looks like shears for my balls nice like sheer curtains oh okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah that's yeah. not it's, shears because that's shears, that's no. what the, the lawnmower, lawnmower 4.0 does that's yeah, exactly yeah. right uh but uh they have other you products the wrong word yeah well that's what they're called sheer curtains, curtains. Yeah. sheer curtains scott, there you go scott is rastafarian yeah <laughs> yeah dreads mm-hmm. uh-huh absolutely they're getting mud back there yeah <laughs> dingleberries it's all uh yeah it just kind of ends up being dreads uh but anyways they have other products um wreath filled with holly yeah they Does ever eat dingleberry jelly? <laughs> <laughs> My aunt makes dingleberry jelly <laughs> with wild dingleberries, wild, wild oh, harvested. Yeah, oh, they're that's, good. All, that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they have other products like the weed whacker for your ear hair and nose hair. They've got the plow, uh, which is, uh, I believe, more of a it's razor. A razor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they have other products like the cologne, which is refined. They've got a whole bunch of other stuff like the ball deodorant and the ball toner that JP likes to wear on his cheekbones. Uh, but tons and tons of stuff that you can check out at manscaped.com. If you do buy anything, use the promo code sidelines, get 20% off of your order and free shipping. I that- totally misunderstood that. Yeah. That toner, ball toner thing, because I actually installed a printer down there. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that they use that to refill it. No. And uh, nope. No, nope. nope. doesn't work out. that nope. way. Is it Bluetooth? It sure is. <laughs> nice. Wi Fi, yeah. Absolutely. I can print off pictures from my phone. Scotty can whack off to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I wanted the toner so bad, because I knew I'd run out. (laughs) (laughs) All of the other products that you can get at Manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That's the story we need to tell. I don't think (laughs) enough people know that story. (laughs) I don't want to. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know we're doing these commercials word for word. The real fans know. The real fans know. (laughs) Yeah, but we've got a lot of new followers. (laughs) I don't know if we want to go there right now, Derek. Apparently, you're verified on Twitter. They don't know about this. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. I don't care. Go for it. Okay. There was one time whenever I was, I think, in middle school. One time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it was one time. Um, uh, but I think I was in middle school, and uh, my parents uh, would leave me home alone after I got home from school. And so I had the house to myself for probably a good hour, hour and a half. I didn't know or have access to porn like you do nowadays. Uh, I would have to go up on my parents' computer and get on porn sites. And instead of just doing my business up there, because I thought that was weird, it was in their room, I would actually print off pictures off of the internet that was porn and take them down into my room and use that. Because that's not weird at all. <laughs> that's not weird at all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and since then, obviously, my parents uh, were smarter than me and knew how computers work more than I did. So You left one on the printer. I, <laughs> I think I did at one point. Either that or it like, like froze up and didn't print and I thought it was done. And then like <laughs> an hour and a half later, just started spitting out shit. And uh, so, yeah, I got caught. Not, not to mention I didn't know how to clear history. So uh, that was another thing. But, yeah, it was an embarrassing thing about uh, me, Derek, and then now you. I know you. Uh-huh. That's the most embarrassing thing. Uh, that's mm-hmm. okay. 
It happens. It's okay. I, I've He's since ashamed moved on. to say he does a podcast. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It's humiliating. That's right. Uh, but now let's uh, let's move on to the uh, the sports stuff. Let's get away from the porno picture printing and move <laughs> on. <laughs> Uh, Derek wanted like to talk about the... Like, God damn, Scotty, what's this half-naked picture of Archie Bunker doing down there? <laughs> but uh, Derek, Connor. Derek mm-hmm. wanted to talk about the fucking women's national championship game for some stupid reason. He watched women's basketball attentively, apparently. I did, actually. I watched the, yeah, the game against South Carolina. And I don't like that chick that everybody loves. I think she's is, great. Is she No, she's a good ball player, but she's very arrogant and cocky, and then whenever that chick from LSU dished it back... All of a sudden, everybody jumped down that chick's throat, and there's, like, no reason to do that. She did the same. She was caught telling that one girl from, I think, Texas Tech or something, you're down 15 points, shut up. And so then that other girl said something similar and did the same type of shit that the the one girl did that Caitlin Clark did, and they're like, well, that's just classless. I think it is classless. Both of them. Okay. If you're going to say it's for one, then it is for both. You can't just sit there. Yeah, I said both of them. Yeah. I think it's bullshit for both of them. Are you telling me that somebody... Scored 15 points in a women's game? Oh, no. She, she scored, scored 40. Like, she was hitting triple doubles. She yeah, was she, scoring like she 41, scored 40 points. 15, she's, and 12 and yeah. shit. Yeah. So she was scoring 40, 40. The team scored, what, 48? She accounted with, with baskets and assists for 75% of her team's points, yeah. I believe, in the South Carolina game. And every point in the fourth quarter, whether it was on her or assisted from her. Huh. But I, anyway, I don't like that fucking bitch <laughs> because of that shit, so I'm glad that she got hers and... Kudos to that chick from LSU for fucking giving it right back to I her. I think they're both playing stupid sports that they're not going to go anywhere and do anything with, so I don't even care. But it's they're the highlight. to the top. It's the highlight of their fucking life. Congratulations. They're getting a free college education out of it. Yeah. yeah. And Good. probably some NIL money. Good for probably. you. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, so over the last week, we had April Fool's Day. Yeah, that shit was canceled because no one can come up with a prank that's equal to the uh, unbelievable shit that's going on in the world right now, so that's fun. Oh, the fuck they can't. Uh, I don't know. Hertz Donut here in town has the best prank, and I totally would have done it if it wasn't on a Saturday. Mm-hmm. They have donuts that they fill with mayonnaise. What? Yeah, you can buy a dozen donuts filled with mayo, and it looks like you just brought regular donuts to work until you bite into them, and they're filled with fucking mayonnaise. Oh, that's great. They do it every year on April Fool's Day, and next year, it's fucking happening. (laughs) Oh, really? Yeah. Have you checked what day it is? It's going to be on a Monday. It's on the 1st? Yep, it's it's on a Monday because we have leap year next year, so it's on a Monday. Sweet. Okay. it's fucking going down. All right, don't bring them to me. I'm not that much of an idiot. I wouldn't even bring you shit that you don't like, Scott. Thank you very much. (laughs) Uh, But anyways... uh, I know how fucking much I would kill for a mayonnaise-filled donut. (laughs) (laughs) I haven't had carbs since Christmas. Wow. You want a beer? No. Okay. Not one of those shit fucking beers. No. <laughs> I don't even know. That was the last time I drank was my quote unquote last episode on this show. Yeah. Done two cents. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, but shout out to the four foot eight slot receiver, Ruben Barrett, for getting an NAIA football offer to Judson University. He's a little person there. I hope he turned it down. <laughs> four foot eight. I yeah. Really you're under 4'10. It's a midget. Uh, no, no. He, he, he's there. He's on the team. That's what I'm saying. Who did he play for? A lollipop Guild? Yep. Nice. 100%. Uh, but I wanted to give him a shout out. Congratulations, you're doing uh, big things. Uh, but Did you uh, find him in a chocolate factory? Uh, no, no. Santa's Santa's workshop. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's work done, kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, the national championship for the actual. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah, we're dead serious. <laughs> Uh, the actual national championship that everybody's going to watch, uh, the uh, San Diego State, uh, what? Aztecs. I don't think everybody's going to watch uh, it. More people I, I don't are going to watch. Most people give a shit. More, more people are going to watch this one than the uh, women's national championship. San Diego State Aztecs against the Yukon Huskies for I the national know. championship. Fuck off, Derek. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about this either. I do. Um, but yeah, for the national championship, I got UConn winning this. I really hope San Diego State does, just because they never have before. So go. I was them. picking UConn actually from like the Sweet Sixteen. Yeah, dude, they're just they, good. They look really good. They, yeah, but I mean this this tournament has fucking failed. Yeah, but in boring. so many ways it has. Uh, well, I mean it's there's no there's no bad guy here. Yeah, there's nobody to hate. Mm-hmm. Kinda. Know, you you need one Cinderella in the final four, and the rest have to be blue blood, so you can root against mm-hmm. people. Because chances are your team ain't gonna fucking make it there, like K State. Yeah, usually yeah. usually you're rooting for the five to beat the one, but when it's the five and the five and the four, I don't care. No, 
Clear, it, yeah. Clearly, they to get to the final four, they did not get the four best teams in the country. No. And not even fucking close. They got the four hottest teams in the country, though. But I think I think a lot of these players, the, the really good ones anyway, start looking ahead to the draft. Yep. And they stop giving a shit this time of year. Or uh, if they're not going to declare for the draft uh, now, they're going to go into the transfer portal mm-hmm. and play for one of the Blue Bloods so they have another opportunity like the one they have now. Which, I mean, look, I it makes it really hard to root for a team with this transfer por- portal. Yep. One of the, the fun things about college basketball was watching – a player from the start of his like freshman year and watching him develop and, and getting to know and love that guy. And you can't really do that anymore, mm-hmm. but kind of like free agency, it's what's in the player's best interest, which I mean, the colleges and the NCAA especially have had their fucking way for too goddamn long. Mm-hmm. That shit. They've been using these fucking kids for, and making billions off of it. Yep. And it's bullshit. So yeah, they deserve to be able to go where they can be seen and get recognized because every one of them is trying to get on to the next level. That's right. Uh, but, yeah, uh, well, obviously the the uh, culmination of that game is actually tonight when we're recording. Uh, you guys will get this episode Wednesday morning, so you already know. Don't tell us. Uh, but obviously, yeah, don't spoil it, you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Another cool thing that happened over the weekend was WrestleMania, right? Really? Yeah. Nobody cares. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Your girl was there. Who? Uh, wasn't it Stacy Ke- Keebler? Isn't that your favorite? Who's, oh, who's, she's hot. Yeah, but who's the one that you met in the airport? Stacy Keebler. Okay, I didn't meet her. I just looked at looked her. Looked at and her. Made it really awkward. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Does she have her walker? Yeah. Her? <laughs> no, she still she's looks. Got to be about sixty by now, doesn't no. she? She'd still she's still. She's in her mid forties, I think. Trish. No way. No, she's in her. She's probably fifty. Fifty. I'm okay. forty one, and I was fucking stroking. Trish that. Stratus yeah. was there, and she is still a fucking bomb. Now that bitch is in her fifties. Oh yeah, and she's still smoking. You know, it's because they're about ninety percent fake. Oh, yeah, right. and that's okay. They're artificial. I know, but she's still hot. Okay. Lita, yeah. Lita was there. She was. Uh, she looked about the, probably the most natural out of all of them, and she's cool. Okay. I like Did her. Did you say so? Um, Did but, you uh, get this pay-per-view? No. I'm pretty so sure how do you did. Know? No, I didn't. I just saw like the pictures of it and stuff. Oh. I'm not buying printed fucking wrestling. No, yeah, yeah. I took him downstairs. I printed them off. He's like, ah, oh, shit, Lita. <laughs> <laughs> no, Trish, Trish Stratus, sir. Let me get that dot matrix mm-hmm. out. <laughs> if, but the funniest thing I think I've seen get in a the bubble jet, <laughs> the funniest thing I've seen in a very long time, if you pulled up any kind of social media today and saw anything related to wrestling and you saw Vince McMahon who looks like a like steroided out Gomez Adams from the Adams family. He's got a mustache? He's got a black dyed mustache and black jet black hair with plastic surgery face. It looks awful. He hmm. sold the company. Yeah. Well, he's got to be up close to 80 by now, doesn't uh, he? Oh, yeah, he's got to be. He's, he's, he's up there. Late 70s, early 80s. I'd say late 70s, but Jesus Christ, he looks awful. Like, terribly plastic and i know he's old but jesus christ he looks terrible uh but yeah that's uh, all from wrestlemania because i really don't give a shit about anything wrestling you brought it up dickhead i just yeah. brought it up because i know it was all over the place uh but probably the most important thing that we give a shit about is opening day baseball season so we had the la- uh, the first uh, three four games that happened over uh, the last couple of days uh, probably the coolest thing i think i may have ever seen in my entire life as far as a, a proposal going wrong uh, there was an L.A. Dodgers fan that tried to propose during a Dodger game at Dodger Stadium, and he got truck sticked by field security when he was dropped to one knee. So even he was dropped to both knees at that point. <laughs> he was. Paul Blart Mall Cop came running from the fucking foul line and took him the fuck out. Was it a hostile proposal? No. <laughs> the funniest thing in the I world. I like to think that the security it, guard grabbed the ring and then he proposed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, that fuck would you, be. motherfucker. That bitch is mine. <laughs> Oh, shit. He got laid the fuck out. But you can even see that the opposing team, which I don't remember who it was, the center fielder, because it was in center field, turned around and was like kind of excited that this happened. Obviously, he's not supposed to be on the field, but he was like watching and he (laughs) sees this guy get just laid the fuck out. And he just goes, oh, no. (laughs) And it was it was awesome. I, I would definitely, uh, you know, based on that. some of the stories we've heard tonight, uh, was this fellow doing the proposing white? No, <laughs> he was uh, Hispanic actually. Uh huh. That okay. And for what it's worth, she said yes. There were no warnings. No, 
No, there were none. But uh, he, she, she did say yes. He, he's a little extra. She, she. Uh, How did he know he wasn't with the grounds crew? <laughs> well, he was wearing a Dodger jersey, so I don't know. He blended in. I have no clue. Well, obviously, he didn't blend in well enough. I don't know. But congratulations to that yeah. guy. Yeah, good for you. Uh, way to go, bud. Um, there was a pathetic opening day show out in Oakland. How long do we say they get moved to Las Vegas? Probably at least three years. They got to build the stadium. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Is that what they're looking at going? I almost Vegas? guarantee it. They're going to go somewhere. They're not going to stay in Oakland. They're not staying in Oakland. I, I can't see that happening. No I'm, way. Which sucks because Oakland, the fans in Oakland are great, but unfortunately the Giants have the rest of Northern California sealed up, so they don't have much outside the city of Oakland, and I believe they're the – Third smallest market team. I would love to sit here and say, Jeremy, I agree with you, but I don't. The Oakland Athletic fans are garbage and are shit because they don't attend their games. They don't would buy you? merchandise. No. Would you go to that shithole fucking stadium? <laughs> Fuck no, I wouldn't. If but you don't put a product on the field, then they no. shouldn't go. That's, yeah. That's, so I mean, 100%. It's if you killing put a them. bad team on the field, then I wouldn't yeah. go either. That doesn't make them bad fans. That makes bad ownership. Uh, or that. And, but the thing is, is that I, if you really wanted them to stick around, if you really were a supporter of them, then go and see them or buy their merch or whatever. But they're not doing that. There, so. There's just only so many. It's kind of like me with the Chiefs. I can only watch you fuckers colossally fail so many times before I can't support you anymore. I tried. Yeah, and then they won the Super Bowl. And I don't care. Okay. All I right. mean, that I, I stopped rooting for them, and out of all the opportunities that fat fuck has tried, <laughs> he should have way more than what he does by now. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, yeah, they... Uh, they sold a, sh- a pretty decent amount of tickets. It's like 26,800 fans that they sold <coughs> tickets for at o- in Oakland. There were probably more people that watched the WNBA, or not the WNBA, the Women's National Basketball Championship. Whatever Nationally, was. maybe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, well, I think more pe- there's a shitload of people there, I will say that, at the, at the actual game for the Women's uh, in- NCAA Championship. Okay. There was, there was, it was a packed house. Uh, but anyways, uh, moving on, Adam Wainwright sings the national anthem in St. Louis for their home opener. Good for him. He had a lot well, of courage Derek's to do that. bored by that. Uh, no, I love Adam Wainwright, but I don't think he's got the best voice, but, you know, kudos. It wasn't Carl Lewis bad. We've heard of some really bad national anthems. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Not on opening day. No, but like Helen Keller, uh, uh, Carl Lewis was awful. Roseanne was awful. It, it wasn't that bad. It was okay. He was somewhere. None of them camp- were on opening day. I understand. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's, an event. I know. You get a big name. You should be able to get a big name. I think they could have. Actual singer. But it was Megan Wayne, right? the Stallion in Houston? No. Ah. <laughs> Man, that chick can sing any opening day she wants to. And Does she, she know that a stallion is a male horse? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> there are no female you stallions. Uh, I, yeah. Uh huh. Derek wouldn't care if it She's was a male stallion. She's fucking smoking. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so there was that, um, there was the Milwaukee Brewers, uh, they had their home opener and it included a flyover, uh, during the national anthem. Yeah. That roof, uh, it was closed. It's Wisconsin. What do you expect? I'm just saying they're dumb as shit. I, I've seen plenty of Super Bowls in dome stadiums where the Goodyear blimp is over top. <laughs> <laughs> nice view of the roof. <laughs> I could just see so you had one fucking job, one job. Yeah. Fucked it up. I, I know why they do that. They would do that if the weather was nice enough to have it open. Uh-huh. The pilots, they schedule that as a as a training mission. Sure. And so they have to run it either way uh-huh. because they have to do so many training missions to keep all their certifications and all that. Uh-huh. So, yeah, they were going to fly over there whether the roof was open or not. But, yeah, the idea that the roof would be open – in March in Wisconsin <laughs> is not very likely. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I like to think they pump the sound in through the stadium. Just <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> like, a, like a Jetson space the, grab. Yeah, <laughs> the movie, <laughs> the movie Airplane. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of that is the running gag throughout the movie. Whenever they show the jetliner from the outside. But the sound is <laughs> like a fucking World War II prop plane. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, but uh, next one, uh, JT Real Mudo got ejected for no good reason by an umpire. Did you see that? 
Yeah, I think he tried to give him his glove, and then he moved or something. Not because so, he wouldn't look, and he threw the ball in his glove, and he moved his glove. <laughs> so here's the deal. Here's the thought process that goes into that. JT <clears throat> was actually wanting uh, the pitch before that. It was actually asking for the ball from the umpire to be thrown back. And the umpire ignored him and threw it back at the pitcher. But that is a habitual reaction whenever you get a foul ball or a ball that goes away. A, p- a catcher will reach his hand back. And this was the first time uh, that it actually happened. So the next pitch, it happened again, and JT instinctually puts his his hand his glove back to get the ball and then realized, oh, wait, the umpire's going to throw the ball at the pitcher himself. He did it last time. But it just was so timely that it was right when the umpire decided apparently to change his mind and not throw it to the pitcher and threw the ball down right when JT was moving his glove. First of all, JT couldn't see behind him. He had no idea that the umpire was doing this anyways. And the umpire throws the ball directly into the ground and then throws a fucking hissy fit and throws him out of the game like he was trying to make a stand for something. These guys are trying to make the game about them. And exactly. It's awful. And it's stupid. This is fucking ridiculous. And I'm glad. I think this umpire was uh, reprimanded somehow and, and suspended for a couple of games because that is not what any of us want. And uh, that is what's going to kill the game. Bullshit. Should have made shit. him throw the fucking ball into the dirt. Yeah. God damn it. That was a brand new ball. <laughs> now it's all dirty and shit. Right. <laughs> Fuck him. Kick him. He should be suspended the rest of the year. Okay. The umpire or JT? JT. Oh, fuck that. Fuck him. Catch. You're a catcher. <laughs> Catch the fucking ball. Okay. I. You know what? Just during warm-up pitches, next game, throw his ass out. Okay. He's Toss him. Fucking run him every game and fine him $300,000 a day. <laughs> He's part wolf. Yeah. He can't catch. The, yeah, no can't. shit. <laughs> Uh, but last but not least, oh, you got Anthony Rendon. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Uh, you reminded me about that. Yeah. Anthony Rendon, uh, was, they were coming off the field after and a loss. Some fan uh, in Oakland, I believe it was called him a bitch and Anthony Rendon <laughs> fucking grabbed him. Yeah. Man, that kid, that kid's going to get paid. That's a fucking <laughs> game. <laughs> that is. I am calling everyone a bitch. Yeah. Every player. I don't care who it is. From now on at every game. Hey, Albert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you bitch. He should have strangled me. <laughs> yeah, I have this I this theory about professional athletes. Even the lowest paid ones are paid more in a season than most people will make in a decade. Mm-hmm. You got to learn to put up with some shit. Uh-huh. Nobody wants to be called a bitch, but that's kind of part of the unspoken shit you got to put up with when you cash that big fucking check. 100%. 100% of the time. I agree. It was uh, a little crazy. But uh, the last thing I have is uh, what do you think of the pitch clock now that you've seen it in action in four games? Well, I'm so used to it in the minor leagues. True. That I didn't really even – like the game I went to, I didn't even really notice it. I didn't like – I don't like that the game's over in two and a half hours. See? I don't like that. The one thing I did notice, because uh, they have like the Royals Hall of Fame in there, and I hadn't been in yeah. the Royals Hall of Fame in probably – God, five years. Right. So I was like, well, let's go. We're here. We got, we're now. We Nothing an new in there. <laughs> no, there's a couple things. <laughs> Is there? Yeah. They had uh, opening day bases from this year uh, side by side with opening day bases from last year. Nice. That is a big difference because the bases are larger. <laughs> yeah. To me, it's about the equivalent of if you get an appetizer plate and a dinner plate. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a huge difference. So I don't like that. The base oh, really? size. That that's no. what pisses you off. Like, no. It's huge. I don't I don't like that. And I don't like the games ending that fast. I, I had a I had a good conversation with uh, the the voice of the Wichita Wind Surge, uh, Tim Grubbs. He he likes it, the fact that the pitch clock and all this other stuff. And 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 granted he's in minor league baseball. I, I think in minor league baseball, I think it's great. I, I think that that is a good place for it, not in the big leagues. And I think if you if you basically condition these these pitchers all through the minors with the pitch clock you're not going to have a problem with it in majors no They're, they will just habitually be pitching the ball faster but i'm like you whenever i go to a baseball game it's an event give it's me a, three hours yeah it's an event that you kind of put away time especially us we don't have a professional team here in town a major league baseball team so we go to these cities that are somewhat close but are still hours away to go and make an event out of a regular season baseball game. That's what we do. So I want to get there early. Mm. I want to spend as much time and engulf myself in the actual traditions of baseball. And if it's over and there was one game, that was two hours, two hours long. 
Fuck you. I don't want to go take a piss in the third inning and then come right when I get back in my seat. I can't fifth. sit down because I got to sing the seventh inning stretch. Exactly. I, that sucks. That sucks. And so I don't, I, I understand why you have it in minor leagues. It does not belong in major leagues. What do you think, Jeremy? Um, I don't like the pitch clock as much as I like a clock on the fucking hitter. That is one thing that I've never been able to stand. Some guy will take a pitch, not even swing at it. Then he's got to walk all the fucking way around the base and adjust his batting gloves and all that shit. No, you don't. You didn't do anything. Take a step out, get the fucking sign from your coach, and get back in. I fucking hate that. Yeah. Um, but as far as pitching goes, the fact is that pitcher, if he's rushed and doesn't have good control over what he's throwing, could kill somebody. <laughs> he can, yeah. So I would just assume that he was really sure of what he's doing and ready to throw before he throws. Yeah. Um, the larger bases I actually do kind of like, just ever since they implemented the instant replay, they're finding all these little times when guys just barely come off the bag and shit that never used to get called, mm -hmm. that now gets called all the time. So I think... You know, and I'm I'm a guy who likes small ball, so I like stolen bases. Yeah, I, you know, and and it was making it really hard because those guys are hard charging in there, yeah. so fucking fast that it's almost impossible not to go sliding off the bag. Well, sure. the other suck thing about that too is you can only throw to first twice. So Which throw, is bullshit. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, all right, cool. He used both his throws. I'm fucking going. He mm -hmm. can't pit. I'm going to get as big a lead as I fucking can. Yeah. And I'm, I'm out of here. The, like, that's a guaranteed stolen base if he threw over twice. The, the, <clears throat> the thing about baseball is it has always been just as much of a mental sport as it has been physical. Mm -hmm. And there are head games and strategies that they use to fuck with each other yeah. and to, you know, Try and take guys strong suits away. If you want to, if you got a fast guy on first, you hold him at first, mm -hmm. and so that's 80, just kind of how that works. So, uh, baseball is eighty percent mental, uh, forty percent physical. That doesn't. That's not right, Scotty. <laughs> okay, fine. that's not fucking right. <laughs> okay, I know you're trying to add comedy here. No, you fucking failed it's again. A, it's a line from Little Giants, man. So that's it. That's uh, the wrong goddamn sport. <laughs> it is, but it's, it doesn't matter. It applies. It is a lot like the majors, though. That, <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty real depiction of what major league sports are really like, that's I think. Right. Uh, shit. All right. Well, that is the sports uh, portion. Christ, we're just through sports? <laughs> yeah, I know. We got some more to go. So we're going to go ahead and move on. Mm -hmm. This is Keep laughing, assholes. No. Uh, this is overrated or underrated. Again, guys, if you have any suggestions for us on, uh, on overrated or any of these segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Um, but uh, we're going to kick this bad boy off. First one, overrated or underrated, thick toilet paper. Way underrated. Yeah. 100%. Overrated, thin toilet paper. <laughs> There's Man, that sometimes I don't even know if that thing, if it's got enough of that like softener on it, I don't oh, yeah. even know if it hit my asshole. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> you just got to make sure you flush like after every other wipe. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, yeah. it's, mm, you, you're getting plunger out. Yeah. Well, no, somebody else is. I'm leaving. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so it's going to be a bad yeah. time for someone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's definitely underrated. If you can imagine the opposite of that, really thin toilet paper, you you have to wad the shit out of that. You Otherwise, use, you use a lot of soap if you use thin toilet paper. <laughs> That's right. A whole lot of soap. You might finger your own hole. So I'm going to go Which with... Which I'm sure you like. So you're going to say <laughs> that it's overrated. <laughs> no, it's underrated. Uh, thick toilet paper is definitely underrated. Jeremy? Scotty's like, my butt's just the glory hole to the soul. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Pieces of shit. How how thick are we talking? I mean, we're talking Charmin Ultra. Okay, so not like a down comforter. Because <laughs> no. that's too thick. Not, Let's face it. Not, not like a shop rag. No, who wants to have their finger bust through <laughs> and get shit fingers? Nobody wants that. Dookie digits. No. <laughs> who, who would say... <laughs> Who wants 80 grit fucking sandpaper <laughs> that'll break through easily? Who's saying that this is underrated? <laughs> JP. Or overrated, I guess. <laughs> JP. Even he doesn't want <laughs> shit. He wants he just wants the hole. <laughs> Fair. I just want Who, who's, I, I want in my guest bathroom someone to go I just don't want to have toilet paper in it. And someone to be like, hey man, you don't you're out of toilet paper. Oh, we don't use that. Oh, oh yeah. well, how do you use the bidet? We don't. 
<laughs> just soaps on the counter. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take your pants off. Take a quick bath. <laughs> Jesus. All you right. know what the worst thing is, is whenever you drop like a, especially back when you were, I used to have this happen when I was a kid quite a bit, when you drop a fucking, like that last, you'd cut the turd and then that uh-huh. hit the toilet and splash right back up on your ass. Yeah. That was the worst thing ever. Yeah. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, high-tech sex toys. Overrated? Okay. Why? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's the point? I don't know. Oh, why, why, if you're going to spend that much money on a on a sex toy, get a hooker. <laughs> oh, okay, those get, are cheaper. Get a medium-tech hooker. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. You're fine with that. Uh, I, I, I got $50 this weekend, and I was like, well, I can either get... Five really horrible hookers or one kind of shitty one? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going... I up. wouldn't know what hookers go for. <laughs> Seriously, guys. I have no idea if they go for $150 for a half hour <laughs> for a decent one. Right. Uh, I'm going mm-hmm. overrated as well. I, I, I'm i married. I don't have that problem. But I also think of it from a woman's per- perspective, and that is they've got a super high-tech sex toy. Then it's going to beat me every time. So everything beats you yeah, every time. Yeah, exactly. Right. But so, but we're talking more for you. Like if if I, Alana's got one strapped on, <laughs> she's she's behind you. She's fish hooking you. <laughs> she's in and that. this thing's doing all kinds of crazy shit inside there. You telling me you wouldn't like that? <laughs> it prints pictures straight out of sure. Clark Vandersex. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going overrated. Thanks, guys. You guys yeah, are a bunch Prince of pieces pictures. of shit. How about you, Jeremy? It's overrated because, as I have uh, said on the show before, I don't know how to change my screensaver. <laughs> so the idea that I can work some sort of a fucking Bluetooth Wi-Fi <laughs> pocket pussy is... Uh, <laughs> and why? I'm still going to fuck it. <laughs> then you got to clean it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if, oh, if you get a self-cleaner. <laughs> Like an oven. Uh huh. Yeah. Just turn it up real high, Tim. Right. Yeah. Whew. All right. What's that smell? <laughs> I'm cleaning my pocket puss. <laughs> then again, for that kind of money, I think I could probably hire a bad housekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I just, I just got one thing for you to clean. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, I know it's a mess. <laughs> Next one. Overrated or underrated? Just don't dump it in the bathroom <laughs> trash. My dog eats that stuff. <laughs> oh, fuck. I shouldn't feed it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably would have killed him. <laughs> right. Uh, next one. Over, overrated or underrated? A cheese grater called Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> overrated because you think that stupid shit is hilarious. That is a real product. It is an actual real product. I looked. How it many up. did you order? I ordered none. You fucking found it hysterical. Didn't <laughs> I you? fucking laughed my dick off. Overrated. Enough said. Underrated. I think it's great. It, it was it, it legitimate. No pun intended. It's great. It <laughs> it was awesome. Jesus Christ, as a grader, is amazing. Jeremy, uh, this is as overrated as it gets. <laughs> One who is not brought buying pre shredded cheese in a bag. <laughs> <laughs> Who's still grating their own blocks of cheese at home? Two, Me. how are you going to wash this fucking thing? <laughs> you can't submerge it. Well, it's bad. It's just going to be walking on the fucking water. <laughs> oh, okay. You got to get that really mediocre maid. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to have to clean it. Right. Well, yeah. Oh, Jesus. She's She'd be all freaked out by it because you know she's Hispanic. Um, <laughs> they got a real affinity for things that look like Jesus and <laughs> Virgin Mary. and Yeah. Sure do. Find it in their potato chips. and Right. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, tortilla chips. Right. Um, anyway, go on. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? 100% electric vehicles or EVs. Underrated. Really? Yes. Uh, if I don't have to purchase gas or oil change or change fluids, I'm down. But I don't want something that's only going to go like 160 miles. So... I feel like they're going to end up like cell phones. Like whenever you first got the first cell phone and it was like, well, you could talk on it for 35 minutes and the battery sucked and it was just not there. And then you wait like 10 years and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, this one you can talk on to for 18 hours. And I think it, eventually they're going to get better. So right now overrated, but soon underrated. 
this is actually in my field of expertise and they are overrated. I made the, uh, the engineer very uncomfortable with the questions that I had for him. Well, that's because they were all about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly how to. No. <laughs> and, you know, where's the print button? <laughs> I, yeah. Uh, no, this, this is the one time where I, I guess I will answer this series. They are way, way overrated. First of all, there's a lot of components to make up the hybrid battery that are actually uh, basically... It wouldn't be hybrid. It'd be just straight electric. Oh, I'm sorry, the electric battery, the, the large battery that's underneath the back seat in most vehicles. Um, that is basically slavery of how it is actually got. That It's called cobalt, and uh, it is mined out of um, the Congo. And uh, it is absolute slavery of what they're doing to the people that actually that we get that from, and, and it, it's in our cell phones, it's it's in a whole bunch of other shit. But Wait till you yeah, hear but will it save on my fucking gas? Uh, yes, then it's worth it. Yes and no. The other thing I was going to say about it, especially with the technology right now, I uh, I cannot take it on a road trip. You can't. Because your trip is legitimately around the charging station. Carry a spare battery, dude. Doesn't work. Uh, it can give you maybe an additional like 10 miles, the, the pack that they have on most vehicles, including Tesla and things like that. And uh, you basically dictate your entire trip around where these charging stations are. And it's not like you go plug it in for 15 minutes. Uh, you go and you sit for three hours to get another like 45 miles. So absolutely not. It's overrated. That's my uh, two cents. Jeremy? Um, yes, I'm on the fence. They they are not the environment saver that people think they are going Correct. to be. That's not they the are <clears throat> depleting natural resources. You're, you're substituting one fuck up of the planet for another. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I... Don't get me wrong. I have no problem with gas burning cars. I love good old fucking American muscle. Mm -hmm. That being said, I've ridden in a Tesla and muscle cars ain't got shit on what a fucking <laughs> Tesla can do. True. They have so much <clears throat> torque and they can, there's a mode that you can put them in that'll do like zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds or something. <laughs> it's insane. Now that depletes the fuck out of your battery. Um, but I don't want to see them stop developing them. They're, yeah. They will eventually get to where I think they can replace gas. And I'm not a big, like, save the environment guy or nothing. But, you know, it's pretty obvious that car exhaust fumes aren't good to breathe mm -hmm. and shit. I mean, it's not good. Yeah, it kills you. Um, yeah, it does. I would like to get into a world where we don't have to move. <laughs> at all where i can just stay in one place and everything comes to me right so i don't have to give a fuck about what car i have yeah what was that wally -E? didn't yeah <laughs> didn't that happen yeah yeah you want door-to-door -door salesman right yeah yeah <laughs> i anytime that a, somebody comes to solicit anything on my porch it makes me real happy <laughs> yeah, I'll and, take and two. That, that person knows how happy i am from the second <laughs> i open the door i there was somebody from uh, – there's a fucking pest control company. that We've got a pest control company now, and uh, so we don't need them. And they have come to my house at least seven times in the last two months. And the other day, I opened the door. What? <laughs> <laughs> and the guy still tries going into his slick salesperson routine, and I shut the door on him in the middle of it. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, it's true. What if he's just releasing ants? <laughs> Like yeah, that's why like that that wouldn't your guys you. are doing a shit job. Look at all these ants right here. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> They're crawling all over my hands. That's, I don't mind ants. <laughs> all right. Especially that comedian ant. Oh, hilarious. The yeah. gay guy. <laughs> Love him. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Farting, coughing, and sneezing at the same time. Don't you die from that? <laughs> Speaking of Jesus Christ, this is the Blessed Trinity right here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> No, these are the new symptoms for COVID-5. That's what that is. So, yeah, it's underrated. There you go. How about you, Derek? Sure. Uh, underrated, I guess. I, I don't know if that's possible to do. So if you can, go for it. Oh, it is. It. it definitely is. Yeah. It adds. It's actually how you get an extra life. Can right? you cough and sneeze at the same time? Uh -huh. I don't think so. Yeah, you can. I don't think so. You can. Not a I've, real sneeze. Not, I, not I a know. man's I've fucking sneeze. I've done it. I've done it. Like I say, not a man sneeze. Oh, mm -hmm. fair, fair enough. My bad. Your little it's one of those girl sneezes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, mine's mine way louder than that. How about you, Jeremy? I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, this show's gone on way too long. Remember, I was supposed to be out here at seven. Right. 
<coughs> Fine. Well, that is overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to what would you do? Well, I'm gonna. Uh, oh, is this new? Yeah, this is new. I'm gonna give you some situations. You get to tell me what you would do in these particular situations. So we're gonna kick it off with the first one. You trip and fall in a very public place, and everyone sees it happen. What do you do? Play it off. I've done that plenty of times. Do you do like the great. tuck and roll? No, I just pretend like it never happened. But everybody saw it. I'm that good. <laughs> oh, really? I did that when I was in fucking high school. I slipped and busted my ass out front of the school on ice. Oh, okay. But I saw you bust your ass out there. I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay. No, I saw you do it. I was like, I was late today. I didn't even. I didn't even ride the bus. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yeah, my mom brought me. You fuck. Go check the attendance record. Damn, that guy looked just like you. I'm like, I bet so, but it, I swear it wasn't me. <laughs> fucking worked like a charm. So, yeah, you just pretend that you gaslight the fuck out of them to make them believe it never happened. I think you turn it into a breakdance move. That's what I would do. How about you, Jeremy? I blame somebody for it <laughs> uh, very loudly and in an embarrassing manner. Whose jizz is this? <laughs> I slipped in some semen <laughs> that somebody put here just to trip me. <laughs> Whose is it? <laughs> I'm going to rub your nose in it. And beat you with a paper. <laughs> JP's like. <laughs> yeah, right, right here. But it was his. Probably. <laughs> uh, next one. You get called in, or I'm sorry, you get called on in class and you weren't paying attention. What would you do? Wondering how the fuck I ended up in a class. <laughs> Shit. Who no, are you talking put to, Put yourself man. in college or high school. You're no. not paying attention. Oh, that's right. You never went it's to college. Been, no, it's been 20 some odd years since no. I've been in school. What? Uh -uh. What? Yeah. What? Come on, play along, you I pieces did. of shit. Wondering no, why really, I'm in this, class. this will get us arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucked that hot chick that you were trying to fuck at the eighth grade dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. You were in high school. You get called on in class and you weren't paying attention. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You just stared blankly at the teacher? Yeah, I was like, huh? Huh? That's I'm it. I'm too stupid to figure out what the fuck's going on, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. That's I, what you would do? I'm concentrating on this dumb podcast I have to do in 20 <laughs> years. Sorry, I'm trying, mm -hmm. to, yeah. trying to figure out what I'm going to say at the end of the show. Fair. Okay, fine. I, uh, I would actually start talking about random shit that I actually know a lot about and keep on going until she cuts me off. That's probably what I would do. No, you wouldn't. I would. You wouldn't. Do I that. would, too. Wouldn't fucking dare. Minnesota Fats. He was one of the best pool players of, of course all he time. Was. Yeah. Where was he from? Uh, Minnesota. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you do know a lot about him. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Was he portly? Uh, he, was a, he was a little bit chubby, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I used to jerk off in the same fashion. <laughs> That's how he would break. <laughs> I would stand at the edge of a table. <laughs> okay. Just rock it back and forth until I finally just jam my dick right into the table. <laughs> okay. And then I'd jizz and slip in it. <laughs> okay. Fine. Who's jizz is this? <laughs> oh, uh, it reminds me. Yeah. All right, moving on. Me, since everybody. You know, since you don't want to play around. Uh, next one. You what open happened to the Google segment? I know. I, it, I, just, I was good at that. You were. Um, next one. You open the door for someone, and they walk through without acknowledging you or saying thank you. Oh, this is easy. Uh, Dan Cummins actually was the one who showed me. You just yell, you're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty much mine. Mm -hmm. I, I, I try to like stare at them though. Mm -hmm. Like try to get them to turn around. I'd, You're welcome, you jackass. Like I, I would uh, do something like that. How about you, Derek? Uh, have a great day. I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I go try and find another door in front of them and close it on. Them. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait for them to leave the store mm -hmm. and hold it closed. Yeah, I would do that too. Just stand in front of a revolving Put chains door. on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> All right. Next one. You drop a giant deuce in a public bathroom. You walk out and find that there is a line, and you lock eyes with the person who is next. What would you do? Same thing. You're welcome! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would probably, as I'm walking by, just like, don't worry, buddy. The seat's still warm. That's what I would say. <laughs> How about you, Derek? So I used to have a huge phobia of shitting in public. Okay. That was like... I've like from middle school all the way up to adult, like adulthood. Mm -hmm. And there was a time when I was in an airport and I had to shit and it was a two and a half hour flight. And then I had a connection and then another hour. And so I had like five hours. I'm like, there's no way. 
So I'm like, I got to go in the fucking bathroom. I have to. So I walk in the bathroom. It's just me. And I'm like, sweet. I fucking get my pants down. Fucking shit hits the water. I'm sitting there. I'm getting ready to start wiping my ass. And this guy walks in. And I'm like, fuck. And I hear this guy walk in. And he just goes, son of a bitch. (laughs) And I didn't know what to do. Like, this was like my biggest fear. And that's exactly what I did. I just went... (laughs) <laughs> from the bathroom and then he walked out and then I, that was the end of my phobia so i'm probably laughing my ass off and saying good luck fair enough uh that's great uh last one what would you do you're on uh hold on okay sorry you're online the person you are talking to keeps using incorrect spelling and punctuation what would you do and friend them <laughs> <laughs> and block them block them <laughs> from every platform i get so mad about stupid shit like this it pisses me off which one do you hate more using the wrong two or using the wrong your oh equal it's, it's fucking same? equal for me Fuck. um i love that un- too, un- unless unless they are just trying to shorten it by using the number two. Sure. Then, okay, you're using shorthand. That's right. I don't expect people to know when to use a comma as opposed to a semicolon, but at least put a comma. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. A comma saves people's yeah. lives. Yes, it does. <laughs> Otherwise, I think you're putting all that shit together with no pause in between it. It really does add context. <laughs> it does. I, there is nothing in the world that just pisses me off worse than like seeing a a craigslist or a facebook marketplace post where they don't even stop a sentence it's just all no punctuation no capitalization and you're trying to sell this fuck you i don't care if you're selling something worth five thousand dollars for a penny i'm not buying it from your poor grammar ass the worst places of hell are where these people reside i think and in my opinion hayesville yeah okay (laughs) that's where it is all right how about you derek what would you do well, my big one is loose and lose. Oh, that's another I one. I fucking hate that. And I'm on a lot of sports pages that I get on. And people are like, I knew we were going to lose. He's just a looser. And I'm like, F- I've gotten to the point where every one of them, I'll take 30 minutes. I don't give a fuck. I'm now here to educate. <laughs> and I will put the asterisk and lose all the way down. Yes. And be like, this is how it is. Look at your fucking predictive text. <laughs> I got into it with a guy just recently, and that's what I was trying to pull up and find. Was he a Dallas Cowboy fan? Because they do that shit on purpose. Lose and loose? No, they do. They specifically misspell is. words or misuse words so they get more people to click on them and get mad at them. They do I that on purpose. I don't think that's just them. No, I think that's social media moguls. Just them fucking assholes. But anyways. So I, I'm on, I'm on uh, one of the sports pages I'm on is Bleacher Nation. Yep. This was fucking weird. So I had said something. Somebody said, or the headline was, signing Dansby Swanson was about getting a great player. Yes, but also about sending a message. Well, judging, and I, everyone knows I wasn't excited about the Dansby Swanson deal. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't I know said, that. I said, that me- you weren't here. I said, that message, we didn't learn from the Jason Hayward contract because they paid him a lot of money. Hayward didn't perform offensively, uh, whatever. And Swanson... At, to prove me wrong, the first uh, beginning of the season, he's done very well so far. There's still 158 games to go. Right. Um, and this guy lit me the fuck up. He just goes, Swanson has terrible offense. Explain how 25-plus homers, 90-plus RBIs, and runs scored is terrible. All you just told us is you don't follow baseball. And then he went on a tirade. Holy shit. Tirade of shit. For those of you who are uh, listening and not watching, there are five paragraphs of this shit. Let's say his name's Dan Peterson because it is. (laughs) Fuck you, Dan. Oh, my God. And he spelled it wrong. He did. So I said, not even Dan the man. I said his last three full seasons, he hit, two, uh, excluding 2020, he hit 238, 251, 248, and averages 320 on base. Before last season, his war was never above 3.4. They went cheap because he was the fourth best shortstop on the market. Anyway, this guy just kept going nonstop, telling me to get the fuck off the page, then proceeds to tell me that he has posted this on Dansby, Swansea's, Dansby Swanson's Instagram and just wait till I see what they're saying about me over there. And I'm like, because, yeah, Dansby gives this shit what the fuck mm-hmm. I have to say. Right. And so I finally got to the point where I was, I told him, I said, you know, 
I'm not, I'm done with this conversation. I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall, only the wall is five years old, and instead of being made out of bricks, it's constructed with bullshit. <laughs> nice. I, I am over this conversation. Well, good for you. Dan's B. Swanson sitting there counting his fucking money. Yeah. $3,400,627? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's Alder saying about me? <laughs> yeah. You talking about 2021 Wichita's funniest person, Derek that, Alders? Yeah, that what guy. What the fuck? That guy doesn't follow baseball. <laughs> he doesn't know shit about me. Yeah. But, what if what if that just ruined his season? Oh, you God. got in his head yeah. so bad yeah. that it just yeah. Um, if anything, Derek's we, trying to like uh, hopefully pump him up. He wants him to have a great season. Absolutely. We we posted something from the show once onto Instagram that was peop- some people found offensive, and some guy yeah, felt the time. need felt the need to tell us, you know, oh wait till I post this on my other account. I've got almost a million followers on that. Sure you do. <laughs> yeah. Sure you do. That's why you're not using that account because you've got over a million followers or almost a million followers on he, that. No, you don't. He's just going to hang out on this burner account uh-huh. for a while. Yeah. yeah. And even if he did, we don't give a fuck. No. no. We what, don't care. What are they going to do? Cancel us from oh. this thing you pay for? Yeah. Or get for free? Yeah. Well, no. Um, that you. Oh. You pay for. You bought all this shit. I you're, did. You're the one who who posts it, it online yeah. and, and does all this shit. We d- we're not beholden to anybody. What are you going to cancel us from? <laughs> right. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, but yeah, well, that is what would you do? Now we get to move on to the questions. This is Dar- uh, Jeremy Joseph's favorite part of every single episode. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> it is. I'm pretty sure. I need more water. Okay. Well, we'll get you some. I, no, I got it. Thanks. Okay. You mean to open That's it That's what you? I was doing well, when I left just at, now. At your old age, I don't want you to get like carpal tunnel over there. If you need some help, let one of us know. Uh, anyways. I've uh, already had carpal tunnel in his hand. I got it taken care of. Okay, did. fine. Um, first question this week. What's the name of a bull no cowboy can ride? Scooter McFuckstick. <laughs> <laughs> and here's there's a caveat to this. Okay. It's not that nobody can ride him. Nobody wants to. <laughs> Fine. It, it, there's, there'd be a highlight reel of cowboys at five seconds just voluntarily jumping off, annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Just like, I don't give a... F- Fuck about your snowboard. <laughs> Jesus. But the bindings keep them on for a little bit longer. <laughs> I cannot stand this for eight fucking seconds. No, they jump off because of the wrist smell. That's what it they're, is. They're just walking off uh, of the arena floor just like, I don't watch Deadliest Catch. God damn it. Uh, fair enough. Uh, what's the name of a... Why do you go so much? Because <laughs> I love it. Uh, let's see. What's the name of a bull that no cowboy can ride? Uh, Super Bowl after the nineties. He's got to be born after the nineties. Super Bowl. I get it. Super, I get jokes. Super That's Bowl a play on 58, words. baby. How about you, okay. Dave? Uh, back tits. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how, how are you going to hang on? I mean, yeah, I can squeeze a pair of tits, but there's just I mean, no I'm not hanging there. on to them for dear life. I'm just, they're all over the place. He's just holding on to nipples, bro. No, man. It's like, that's why whenever you're watching an action oh, movie fuck. and the guy's falling off the building, some chick doesn't just whip a tit out and like, grab onto this. <laughs> it never happens. It's yeah, always it's a like, hand. It's always a hand. Just, nobody holds himself up by palming a basketball. <laughs> there's yeah. just nothing there. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Uh, next one. When I was a kid, I thought if someone had one of these in their house, it meant that they were rich. Uh, a mom and a dad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yikes. Yeah. Ouch. Hey, two income family. That's Maybe true. It's, it's, yeah, but it's only a- one Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I still Dude. had two Christmases because oh. I had a stepdad. Yeah, I had, I had two as well. Step parents are awesome for that. Um, no, I mean, when they're married, you only get one Christmas. <laughs> right. True, yes. Yeah, it's true. Um, I've, I've got quite a few, a flat screen TV. I remember when those came out and that was like, holy shit, that's a $3,000 television. Mm-hmm. Um, an above ground pool. We were pretty poor. Uh, and then, really, even as a poor kid, when I looked at an above ground pool, <laughs> I always thought it looked like shit. No, the, the above ground. Pool I was never like, jealous of an above ground pool <laughs> once. Never. I always thought that that was trashy. What about when they try to fool you and build a deck around that's it? That's the ones I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. I get it. Uh, and the uh, last one, this was actually a true one, uh, a garage that fit both cars. 
Ah, okay. that that's uh, that was actually one. I was like, holy shit, both vehicles fit in here. God damn. How about yeah. you, Jeremy? Well, I'm kind of on that older. Same yeah. line. So yes, it is actually does come into play. The the big screen TV. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The there was a time when when big screen TVs first came out that the way they worked, they were huge and they were just a projection screen mm-hmm. and there was a drawer on the front that you pulled out with a red and blue and yellow light and that worked all its fucking magic and it projected the blurriest fucking picture that could ever be seen but it was big because the biggest tvs anybody had with like the crts in them were 25 inch yeah that was a big tv back then and so if anybody had like a 40 inch tv with this big stupid pull out thing on it (laughs) The projection bulbs didn't matter how shitty their trailer was. I always thought if they had that, they must be fucking rich because they were like eight thousand dollars, which in today's money would be like twenty thousand dollars. So yeah, yeah, or a satellite dish. Yeah, yeah, not not the Dish Network satellite dish, but the the giant people used to get those because they then they got free cable and they got the Playboy Channel. Yeah. And that thing was I, fucking huge in I the had backyard. One friend who, due to a fucking lawsuit that their family won, they got a new house and a satellite dish, and they had and a bass boat, and <laughs> they had no money for anything else. But they yes. had that satellite dish, and we'd stay the night there. And after his parents went to bed, we'd watch Playboy Channel. <laughs> And then they started scrambling it. Yeah. Then so they you got couldn't really, even get that free. Then they got really rich and got printers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was always wanting to go over there for that. Another one was, uh, I don't know, it's cheesy, but the fridge with the, did the ice in the water oh, on yeah. the door. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. a big Those, thing when it came out. Uh, a fireplace. I thought if you had a fireplace, you had money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Brick, um, anywhere in your house. Yeah. My buddy back, this is a while ago, but my buddy uh, Nathan, he had a... A laser disc player, and uh-huh. I thought that oh, was yeah. I thought, motherfucker, you got one of the one of those. They yeah. actually just recently stopped making them, making them. Yeah, yeah. There's still some of the best quality picture that you can get that's not high def, right? And again, showing my age, a computer. Oh yeah, uh, that yes. was the like America Online was probably middle school for me. Yeah, it was about middle school, eighth me. grade maybe, and. I'd still, all through high school, I fucking had to borrow my grandmother's typewriter to type Mm -hmm. reports on. What? Yeah, I never had a computer until. I didn't have one until high school. I didn't have one until I moved And it was a shitty used one, just a word processor. I I had one when I was in middle school, and I print porn pictures off of it. Yeah, Yeah, we know know you did. Yeah. (laughs) Uh Yeah. No, uh, a circle drive. If they had a, oh, a circle yeah. drive circle, out front. Circle drive. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Like a, oh, okay, yeah, you're a little rounded. Yeah. Gr- yeah, I got you. I got you. A guest room. Yeah. I, that's what yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. A room that you don't need that you would turn into something completely different. Oh, uh, pre-made orange juice. Oh, okay. Remember the concentrate? The oh, frozen yeah, concentrate? Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what we always had. And oh. You, you dumped that slush into a pitcher and then filled that thing up three more times with water. And then you mash it up with a fucking potato masher. That's how we got orange juice. Okay, so I have I have two that kind of go inside coincide with each other, and it's totally true, and it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. A aquarium inside of the house, okay, yeah, or a pond outside, like with running water and shit, with fish in it. That was a telltale sign. You have way too much money. Why are you putting koi fish koi fish in this fucking pond in your front yard? So yeah, that was mine. A pool table. It, Oh yeah, pool table. Huh? That's a good. One. God, we have we a whole done, bunch of this. We could have done, done this draft, draft on this, on this, this yeah. shit. Oh no, fuck kidding. yeah. Uh, but anyways, all right. All right. Moving on. Uh, next question: What Disney movie should actually be rated R if only a child knew what was really going on? Sleeping Beauty. Yep. Yeah. He, a lot of date rape there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How's that going on? Yeah. Didn't they po- try to poison that bitch too, or something? I can't uh, remember. Or was that a curse? I think it was a curse. Cinderella was the poison apple, right? Right. Yeah. Was it? No. Snow White. Snow White, Snow White, Snow White was, was a poison apple. apple. Yeah. yeah, that's attempted murder. Yeah. Why is your mom <laughs> trying to fucking undercut you? <laughs> <laughs> Why is she competing with you for dudes? <laughs> I don't know. Was she live in California? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mine's really real. Pocahontas. Never seen it. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Oh man! So the Disney version of of what it is is not really a hundred percent historically accurate. But even if you kind of know what's going on, it's super fucked up. She was a child in real life. Yeah, she was twelve at mm-hmm. the time. Uh, All po- those Disney princesses were like twelve or fourteen. Yeah. So there's po- also child fucking. <laughs> exactly, Scotty. You print a lot of pictures off to that. No, 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 no. Uh, but no, it, native it, puss. <laughs> seriously, is fucked up. Uh, John Smith, I think, was a real person, but Pocahontas yes. was actually not her real name. It no, was a that's what they called her. That's what they called her, and uh, she ended up dying uh, at the age of 20. Uh, I, so I believe Pocahontas was the word for little girl. Yeah, uh, no, it's like Henri girl or something like that. Whatever, it's girl. Yeah, it is. Like, not woman, girl. Girl, yeah. And he so, married her. Yeah, so that's mine. How about you there, Jeremy? Yeah, he became uh, Chief Stinky uh, Finger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, sure was. Uh, anyway, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, I got myself on that one. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Good job. I, I think I've brought this up on this show once before, but the one that I find the most disturbing is cars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because here's the thing. They're in a world where there's all these anthropomorphic cars, right? They can talk and function as a society, right? But they live in a world where, like, the gas pumps have handles (laughs) and the restaurants have tables and chairs and there's buildings. This is clearly a world that's been built for people. Where are the people? (laughs) (laughs) Something has happened to the people, and now the machines run the world. <laughs> you need to see the prequel to Cars. Yeah. Yes. It, T2. Judgment <laughs> Day. Rise of the Machines. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, very good. That's awesome. All right. For someone that doesn't smoke pot, you sure talk like you smoke a lot of pot. <laughs> Maybe. <I> mean, <laughs> All right. Next question. The new infomercial product that does not solve any problems. Um, the ASMR machine for the deaf. <laughs> okay. I don't know. It looked kind of cool. Sure. <laughs> but what problems does it solve? <laughs> not a fucking... I can't cheat. <laughs> oh, God. I still can't cheat. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I actually have a real one. It's not a real product, but it's kind of the same thing. Uh, it's called the Container Container. Uh, people, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, it's something that people put up in their fucking cabinetry up top that keep all their containers because whenever they open their container, like drawer or or cupboard or whatever, all of the containers just magically get pushed out and fall onto them like it's mm-hmm. a fucking avalanche. Mm-hmm. I'll still remember that from a infomercial that I saw. So yeah, that's mine. The container container. Okay. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, it's called hot garbage. And uh, who who likes cold garbage, right? <laughs> so you can just take all your trash and dump it into this, and it'll heat it right up for you. <laughs> Does it melt it down? No, no, just heats it up, gets it nice and warm. So that, I mean, does it ding that, when it's done? It does. It, you that can set it to your temperature. You can you know low, medium, high. You know maybe not, some, not everybody likes steam and hot garbage. Yeah, but nobody likes cold garbage. Right. Oh, all right. Uh, the other would be the uh, the clit helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty has one of those. I have one of those. Those are my favorite. All right. Really. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. He said, said he needs a helmet to eat pussy. That's yeah, what he said. He's so good at it. Got to be. Got to be safe, man. My wife. What are you doing down there? Doing some work. Not. Not if you need a helmet. Just in case. You're doing it wrong. No. She. She gets a little like crazy and handsy and stuff, and I got to protect my face. She's trying to claw at me. A helmet stuff. protects your. I head. think she's pushing you away. <laughs> <laughs> Is she screaming? No. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not the beard. <laughs> More. <laughs> yeah. All right, last question. What's an honest tourist slogan for Texas? Uh, Texas, you're not the fattest one here. <laughs> May, I don't know about that, Derek. I've been to Texas. Okay, just making sure. Uh, Texas, Texas, have a gun, not an abortion. That's mine. Okay. Jeremy? Uh, more Mexicans in Mexico? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, all right. 
Well, that's Because it's true. <laughs> I've been to Dallas, <laughs> North Texas. <laughs> I used to have a T-shirt that said, uh, don't mess with Texas. It's not nice to pick on retards. <laughs> oh, ouch. I like people from Texas. They're all right. T-shirt hills where you can find the, that shirt at. The <laughs> biggest problem with Texas is it is full of Texans. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, I like Texas. I, I don't mind Texas. A lot of our listeners are from Texas. Howdy. The the idea that everything is bigger and better there is bullshit. Uh, it's it, regular size. That's it, the it's, same size. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that is questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram or on our Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines. If you don't follow us there already, please do so. Uh, a lot of things are going to be switching over to there shortly, so uh, be ready for that. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. I'm pretty sure I ate shit last week like I normally do. And so uh, oh, dookie there's, lips. there's that. Uh, Derek won. So he gets the championship picks. I get the sandwich picks because Jeremy is technically our guest. And so he gets the first pick. Not technically. I am. Uh, te- I, I don't work here anymore. You are one of the original crew, dog. So I, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, and I gave that up happily. I know, but uh, you, you just love it. You miss it. I clicked my heels together the last <laughs> time I left. I know. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's draft is going to be, um, what is it, the worst animated characters to have as pets? Yeah, worst yeah. animated pets. Worst animated characters to have as pets. Yeah. All right, so that can be TV, movies, no video games. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Jeremy, you get the first pick. Go ahead, dude. Okay, just because I've always found him to be, you guys probably aren't going to know who I'm talking about. Fun. I'm glad you're using it as your first pick. Yeah. Snarf from the... <laughs> The Thundercats? Snarf, okay. snarf. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly that Fuck is. him. <laughs> <laughs> you obnoxious prick. <laughs> Knock it off. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. Okay. I, I, I guess I'm going to go with this one. Um, he's always annoyed the shit out of me. And Scotty German. No. Oh. He's always. The an- bull? No. He's always annoyed the shit out of me, and he's a fucking, like, predator. He's always chasing a cat that has a white painted line down oh. her back, and that is Pepe, Pepe Le, Le Pew. Pew. Oh, Fuck yeah. that He's a thing. little rapey, yeah. He's right. a little rapey, and... But he's French rapey. And he's spraying you with skunk shit. So, okay. no, that's uh, that's mine. Uh, Derek. Well, he's going to destroy the fuck out of your house, so I'm going to go with the Tasmanian devil. God damn it, that's a good one. Son of a bitch. And okay, I wouldn't want a giant dinosaur fucking jumping at me every time I walked in the door. So I'm okay. gonna go with Dino. Okay, that's from fine. The Flintstones. Okay, I thought you. I thought you were kind of gonna take my pick until you said dinosaur. So I'm glad you didn't take my second pick, and that is going to be. I do not want a big ass red dog that's bigger than my fucking house. Damn it, Clifford the big red dog. That's mine. You fucker. And he's he's a fucking pet. What the hell are they doing? That dog, uh, but he's a dog, though, I guess. Uh, Jeremy, you get two, man. Uh, Donald Duck. Okay. Talk mm. normal, you f- fucking jerk off. Put some pants on. <laughs> yeah, Put no some, shit. Yeah, you yeah you're going to sit on my furniture bare ass? You fucking slut duck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you get one more there, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Uh, Scar. He yeah, was a, he, was a, uh, uh, he was a prick. He was a prick. An uppity prick at that. He was. He was. Uh, God damn, I'm, I'm glad this one came back. Uh, uh, this, uh, this particular cartoon character has some very creative ways of trying to catch his fucking food that just end up in absolute disaster and blowing shit up, and that is going to be Wiley Coyote. Yeah. He would destroy some fucking shit, and that's uh, that's why it would not. I be know fun. we never have talked about it, but they also suck at baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Coyotes, yeah, nice. Imagine a wolf with smaller hands. Okay, yeah, that or just smaller all around. They're uh, the minor league of wolves. Yeah, they are. They <laughs> sure are. <laughs> 
All right, uh, Derek, you go ahead. You get two in a oh, row. Son of a bitch. I know. Stall for me. <laughs> what? You should. That would mean you, I would have to talk to that. That took my. That took my two. Uh, Wiley Coyote. Yeah, that was my other one. Good. Uh, I'm stealing picks from you. You got Taz. Let's see. I know I got Taz. That was a good one. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna go Curious George just because you got to find the son of a bitch all the goddamn time. <laughs> That's a good one. I don't want to just be outside my house going George. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good one. He always uh, likes that man with the big yellow hat, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. And. See. I've got a couple. I'm kind of glad that I've, I've got them. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. You can do it. I know. I'm looking, fella. You're you're drafting like I did when, uh, for the fantasy football draft, taking your sweet ass time. Oh no, I'm nobody's drafting <laughs> like that. <laughs> I know. Ever. Yeah, you need to go pee. <laughs> <laughs> I won't wash my hands afterward. No, I'm asking Derek. Oh. Go wash. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. boy. Let's go with Porky Pig. Okay. He spit that, it fucking out already. Yeah. <laughs> Put That's, him and Donald in the same fucking place. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm, uh, son of a bitch. That was, that was actually kind of the one I was kind of hoping you wouldn't pick. Porky? But, uh, yeah, I wanted Porky. Uh, but uh, if anything, I'm going to go with... Uh, you don't want to have a feline that is high on fucking speed. So I'm going to say Tigger. So what if you mispronounce it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to lose him. No, you yeah. don't. You don't. Stay. That's the first trick I'm teaching. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going with Tigger bouncing around and annoying the fucking shit out of me. Jeremy, you get two, dude. Last two. Okay, I'm going to go Eeyore. Yeah, you damn depressing it. prick. <laughs> damn it. I was hoping that was the one that would come back. Damn it. All right. You get one more. Um, You know what? I'm going to go with it just because he's an asshole. He's not really from a cartoon, but Mr. Owl from the Tootsie Pop <laughs> commercial. Okay. He is kind of an asshole. He's an asshole. <laughs> you stole the fucking <laughs> Tootsie Pop. The Tootsie Pop from the kid. That's a child. Yeah. It is a child. It's awful. <sighs> what an ass. It is. What ass. a fucking ass. Yeah, he, he did have an ass on him, didn't he? He sure did. <laughs> he sure did. I've always said that about owls. We got a great ass. <laughs> Look at the ass on that owl. And they're uh, like, who? You. Yeah. <laughs> who? Exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go uh, with one. I, I I just think he's always annoying. He's a fucking cat with a fucking lisp, and that would just annoy the ever-living shit out of me. Thuffer and fuck attach, Sylvester the cat. Okay. That's mine. Last pick there, D. The 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> oh, you can only all have one. <laughs> yeah, all, can you can I not have all of them? No, you can only have one. Oh, man. No Pongo. Pongo or Purdy, which one do you want? Neither one of them, if I can't have all of them. You can't have all of them. This Man, is a that, apex. That was my perfect pick. Uh-uh. No. Nice, right. nice way to try to cheat. That's how I he wins. Cheating. That's how he wins. wins. Oh, I win fucking fair and square. Whatever. Oh, boy. I'm going to go with... I'd make a lot of money with that one, though. Ooh. I'm thinking about Dumbo. I don't know if I'd want an elephant as a pet. No, eventually they get bigger. I know, but then you'd make a shitload of money with like, watch my flying fucking elephant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so I mean, there's 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 not. And I know guy. how you love the circus. Mm-hmm. Yes, I took my nephew there. I don't know if I heard. told you guys that. <laughs> oh boy. Oh good, great. Now I found a list. Fantastic. <laughs> oh no 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 I didn't. <laughs> uh, I'm going just going off my fucking head here. I kind of did for the most part. Um. I've got a couple honorable mentions, too. I still think Tasmanian Devil is probably the best pick, though. Jiminy Cricket. Ooh, okay. He'd be annoying as fuck. You judgy fuck. (laughs) And whenever you sleep, I just don't want to hear. Yep. Yep. That's a good one. That's kind of a creative one, too. You wish upon (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Or the WB Frog. 
That damn. Hello, Hello my, my baby. baby. Hello, Hello, my honey. honey. Oh, God. Daffy Duck. God damn it. What is his name? Uh, fuck. Uh, I don't know. It's the name of a town. It's. <laughs> God damn it. Why can't I think of it? I, I don't know. While you're thinking of that, I almost picked this because technically he is an animal for a little while, and that was Cusco. Oh, I know what I should have picked. I have no idea who Cusco, Cusco is. Cusco, that Emperor's, sounds dirty. The Emperor's new crew. <laughs> Stick it right in your. He was Cusco. a llama. Yeah, I almost picked the llama. I should have okay. put. I should have took man bear pig. Man bear pig. He's half Ma- man, Michigan half bear, J. Frog. That's his Michigan name. Michigan J. Frog. Yep. Okay. That's a good call. Frog, I yeah. totally, How did I fucking miss man bear pig? I don't know. I'm just uh, wild about Harry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Winnie the Pooh. I, I would. I would punch that fucking bear right in the face. And Tom and Jerry. I thought about Jerry or Tom. Tom, about Tom. Tom, he just fucking destroys the house going after the mouse. Yeah. And the mouse uh-huh. isn't doing shit. He's just being all right. Man, uh, it's a pest. You I mean you're. Uh, yeah, you're I don't calm. know. You, you set down a trap. If you don't, you don't just let the mouse chill around. Yeah, fuck Mickey Mouse. He's huge. He's like three feet tall. He's a rat. He's a rat. He's a fucking rat. Oh, okay. All right. That's fair enough. See, um, I didn't see any of these. Where? What did you look up? Uh, don't worry about it mind your own fucking business it doesn't, it doesn't matter, matter. tasmanian over. devil's not even on there okay i just i just looked up best cartoon animals of all there time. i thought about bambi just i did it just keeps dying that's right yeah that's true on the show taz okay they're one of the funniest fucking things i ever saw and i don't know why it always struck me as so funny but there was this woman she was supposed to be like a jane goodall who was observing the tasmanian devils and just blending into their environment but, you know, they lived like a regular fucking family in a house. Yeah. And the the dad talked like uh, Bing Crosby. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever watch the cartoon? I've seen the Tasmanian Devil cartoon, and I know what you're talking about. I don't remember that. And, and she's like, it is a bit cold in here. I need to start a fire. And she's back there, like, trying to start a fire behind their couch. <laughs> and he, Excuse me there, nice lady. <laughs> Just the way he said, excuse me there, nice lady, would you mind not uh, burning our house down? <laughs> Just, <laughs> they, they were all very aware that she was there, and she was acting like, oh, I think the young one, Fidget. I call him Fidget. <laughs> He's made friends with me. God. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Anyways. What? Uh, you I didn't do a very good job of selling that. Edit that out. That's and okay. then edit it back in. Okay. And I'm going to go on for another hour explaining that scene. <laughs> okay, fine. Just, put, just insert in a clip from that <laughs> Fair. particular one. Kay. We have a clip, I think, right yeah, here. No. <laughs> do nope. we not have a screen? Nope, sure don't. Uh, but anyways, guys, I that is... I thought we were building a new studio. I, I you kind of uh, But that is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. You can go and vote for your favorite list or person. On uh, on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines by clicking on the corresponding emoji with that list. We will also have another draft uh, up on Twitter at LOT sidelines. And you can, uh, you know, click on vote that way, too. And I will try to factor those in as much as possible. But, uh, yeah, kind of want to go that route a little bit more. Uh, but now we get to go to my favorite part of every single episode. Scotty eats a little nitro. No, and here we go. No, this is our as a suppository. <laughs> no, Absolutely. this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right. Uh, the Piper Alpha was a oil platform that was located in the North Sea, approximately 120 miles northeast of Aberdeen, Scotland. It was one of the most productive oil rigs in the world and later was converted to also be able to pump natural gas out of pockets below the bottom of the ocean. Uh, it had two gas pumps, pump A, pump B. And on July 6, 1988, while pump A was down for routine maintenance, they were running on pump B only. It broke down on them. Uh, they couldn't go without you know, pulling some shit out because they wouldn't be making any money that way. And so they decided to uh, stop the maintenance on pump A and restart it back up. Uh, little did they know that somebody had removed a safety valve. And so when they started the pump up, it just started filling the room with natural gas. Uh, believe it or not, it exploded. <laughs> Set the entire place ablaze, which then... Uh, fell off of its platform and sunk down to the bottom of the sea. And uh, 
wound up killing 165 workers on board along with two rescue workers. And now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, who farted? <laughs> Still one of the best t-shirts to this day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Speaking of t-shirts, we got requests from people asking uh, for Hakuna, Mata- Hakuna Matata, you piece of shit t-shirts. Nice. By the way. I don't think Disney will let us have that. They may if we spell it wrong. It's a parody law. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, spell it wrong. Yeah, spell it wrong. There's no right way to spell Hakuna Matata. Right. <laughs> Three Zs. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. All right. Silent Zs. Right. Uh, this week's Laughing on the Sideline shitty situation is, would you rather... <laughs> Have an above ground pool, uh, or would you have to watch your favorite sports team on one of those big screens that's really blurry? There's some caveats to that above ground pool. <laughs> okay. It has to be one of the old 80s style with the PVC frame around it oh. and just a shitty plastic liner, and it has to be in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's like waving at cars it, driving by. Yeah, it's like a kiddie yeah. pool for adults. Yeah. Yeah, those projection TVs, by the way, could really only watch them at night or in a really dark room. <laughs> if there was any lights on, you couldn't see shit. <laughs> okay. And that's uh, the only TV you have access to. All right. You would think that I would probably go with the above ground pool because TV is my life. And if it's blurry, it really pisses me off. However, I would probably take the blurry TV. I do not want an above ground pool in my front or backyard. And I don't like to go swimming. So it serves me no purpose. It's a place where you and Derek can go and drown me. So I'm good. I'm going to go with the blurry TV and I'll just imagine what I'd the like actual to shape. see you with an above ground pool. No, I don't want it. Now that you mentioned the drowning. I know. See, see, I'm thinking ahead. You're assuming, however, that I'm coming back over here at some point. <laughs> Little do so. you know. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely going with the uh, sorry with the uh, blurry big screen TV. I'll make out the shapes and do the voices. How about you, uh, Derek? Uh, normally I, I originally, I was going to go with the big screen TV, but now that I know that you're scared of pools, <laughs> I kind of like the deterrent. <laughs> oh uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not scared uh, of them. I just don't like to swim. Okay. Well then I'm going to go back with the TV. <laughs> okay. Um, plus I, that pool, uh, I don't know if you realize this or not when you're not swimming it. Well, even when you are, it's a mosquito breeding ground. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I would rather not have that. Uh, yeah, they that would suck. What's that? That would suck. That would fucking suck balls. Yeah. And uh, and also, right now, my favorite sports team has always been the Chicago Cubs. And really, they're not giving me shit to watch anyway. So <laughs> I can play on my phone and, and listen to the game. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to go with uh, the big screen TV. That is a good point. Even if you can't watch your favorite team, and still see, listen you can it. still listen yeah. to it. And that's okay. Break us back to the here. Yeah, there's workarounds here. Mm-hmm. How about you there, Jeremy? Does there have to be water in the pool? <laughs> what else would you use it for? A skate park? Beer cooler. Beer cooler. To wear a nice dead patch in the front yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means you wouldn't have to mow it with your super expensive lawnmower. Yeah. But that patch probably only takes you a couple of seconds to mow with it. I that. do the front with the push mower. Oh. Uh, riders for the back, Scotty. All right. That's how you know I'm a rich person. Right. I got two mowers. <laughs> you just um, think you, when you're tired of either one of them, you can sell them on Craigslist. That's right. And get, bring back a story. I am going to go with the TV. Yeah? Clean yeah. sweep. Just because... I. I, I have worked hard in my front yard to make it look nice, so I don't want to fuck that up. Plus, there's a hell of a slope on my front yard, <laughs> so I couldn't even use that pool for shit. It's going to be half empty because yeah. I'm a pessimist. And <laughs> Yeah, that, that wouldn't go well at all. So then I would just have an unusable batch of water. I can at least wait till nighttime. Or close the curtains and shit and watch a little bit of TV. Yeah. In standard definition, but still. Yeah. I thought, well, there you go. Clean sweep, it goes. Uh, those of you guys that That's have- how horrible above ground pools are, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, If you have true. one, knock it the fuck off. <laughs> That's right. Unless you have a deck. 
right? No, 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 not, not even just a deck. Ruin that fucking deck with water. Oh, I know, but yeah, I I don't mind them. They're not too bad. You can jump off the <laughs> dig garage. a hole. Yeah, and put that fucker down in there. You can. How about that? All the way to China, if you want. Yeah, it's true. Uh, kind That's of. not true. That's not. No. Damn Do you it. You really want me to get into physics? No, that? not even. Cl- I don't even want to. No, not even close. But I want to. No. We uh, we uh, haven't really discussed much science on this. <laughs> <laughs> We're more into horses. Yeah, we are. That's We're right. To bring back the horse talk, man. Which can drink a lot out of an above ground pool. <laughs> <laughs> And you can still listen to a horse race. That's you true. Sure you sure can. Son of a bitch. Man, coming around there, darn it. Yeah. Well, it's, they, he's inside me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by back tits. <laughs> <laughs> and chief stinky finger. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I love horses. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Again, if you are not already, please go and follow us on Twitter, which is at L-O-T Sidelines. Um, That's where a lot of our content is going to be going, and uh, very little of it will be taken down, which I am very excited about. Just look for that blue check mark so you know it's good. That's right. Uh, There's probably probably a whole bunch of other Laughing on the Sidelines pages out there. With blue check marks. With blue check marks. Yes. (laughs) Probably. I heard Trail Sports started one. (laughs) Uh, hope, hope those guys are doing great. I bet they are. I they bet get, you they are. It can't be worse than this show. <laughs> They've got like 15 followers, so it's cool. That's what they They're had. All cooler and, than our And followers. they had that back when we had six. Oh, that's true. So, yeah. <laughs> they remember. were miles ahead of us. They're consistent. They are. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you very much. And again, Jeremy Joseph, it was a pleasure to have you back. Uh, I wish I could say it was like <laughs> I know. Uh, but uh, because we got baseball season coming up, Derek will be gone quite a bit. So hopefully, if you would do us your gracious uh, honor and and honor us with your presence, that would be amazing. Uh, I, much- I will do what I can. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it on this show or not. I took a week of vacation uh, in February. Aside from that, I have not had a day off from work this year. Yeah. So work is really kind of being a bastard right now. Yeah. So I uh, will just have to see. I'll do what I can when I can. Sure. So, uh, but we do appreciate it. It was really cool to have the all, the original crew back together. I did have a lot of fun. I'm, I miss days like this, and I really do appreciate both of you guys. I uh, really do. Um, and I know the listeners it, really enjoy it when it's when when you're on here, Jeremy, and when Derek's on here. So I'm sure they are saying thank you, even though you're not going to look at their comments. I don't. So no, I won't. And, uh, <laughs> I think they like it a little better when Jeremy's on. Uh, they, you're welcome. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're welcome. Right. Mm-hmm. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much for subscribing and sharing and doing all the stuff that we really help or hope that you do to help us uh, grow this show. Uh, and as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope the Easter Bunny hides eggs in your heating ducts and you don't find them until next February. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. If you don't like us, you tell your enemy. And until next time, guys. Peeps, they're always in season. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.